craziest dark man stories you will ever see. A TikTok prankster gets expelled. A scary evil clown gets revenge on kids. And even a crazy boys versus girls video with an ending that will leave you shocked. Stick around as we share one of the most insane stories at the very end. Let's go. Today we're reacting to a story about an evil babysitter that gets revenge on some kids. What? This is the third babysitter we've had this month. No one's lasted more than a day with these two. I'm not too worried. I'm pretty good with kids. I have a bad. They were having a pillow fight, man. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ow! I'm sorry, Justin. I have. Can I give him a donut? Yeah. Just make sure they don't eat more than one, or they'll be bouncing off the walls. Also, don't let them watch any movies with clowns. They're terrified of them. She talking about Pennywise? Uh, she's talking about us. We're what? terrified of clowns. No, she talking about don't let her watch Lakey Box. There are two <laughs> clowns in those videos. Yeah. Oh, he all. One donut max and no clowns. Got it. <laughs> you two have fun. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> So, what do you guys feel like doing? That looks like fun! Yeah! You know, it really isn't nice to keep secrets. Oh no, we were just talking about how excited we are to have you as our new babysitter. Okay, they, they seem nice. Right now you think they're lying, bro? I think they got something up their sleeve. What, what secrets you keeping, Ed? I don't have any secrets. I tell you everything. Moxie says you whisper secrets to me all the time. But I wonder what these kids are actually playing. Moxie says you tell me secrets all the time. Maybe they're trying to like pull a prank on her. Oh, yeah, secret <laughs> about your We turn the TV on? Our parents got us a lottery ticket. We want to know the winning numbers. Uh, sure. Coming up tonight, right after your local news, it's live oh, I really tonight. hope we win. Apparently, if you, you know, get the jackpot, you get like millions of dollars. <coughs> James, are you okay? Is there chocolate on my nose because if so, he's allergic? Oh my god! What do I do? I don't know. You're the babysitter. <laughs> I'll call your mom. <coughs> I'm no, he's having an allergic reaction! Oh, uh, no. Do you think this is real? Huh? What if he's faking it? Why would he fake that, bro? I think that might be part of the prank. What prank? They're gonna, like, make sure that this babysitter gets in big trouble. Why would they prank her? She seems nice. Because they're evil. What? I don't know. I think these kids might be evil. They just, <laughs> you do this sometimes. <laughs> you run out of milk! I just get sad. I need some milk! I don't need some milk! I need some milk! Wait, wait, wait. I think he's trying to say something. <laughs> you what, James? I... I'm just kidding! <laughs> he should have saw your face! <laughs> I thought you were gonna poop your pants! Hey, yo! What a crazy prank, man. That worked out well. That reminds me of your seat. You guys, that's not funny. I was just about to call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, who's that? My boyfriend. Oh, they're about to call the numbers. It's Lotto Tonight, where you can go from zero to zillionaire. Ah, shoot, Jasmine, don't we, don't we have that, uh, that thing that we need to take care of? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See if we win. Yeah, we'll uh, split the prize with you. Uh, sure. Tonight's first number, 31. What's this? What's, what's going on? So they're playing bingo. So if they match up all the numbers on the piece of paper to the TV, they win a bunch of zillion dollars. Bingo was his name, oh. Yeah, you got it. What are you talking about? What I think is going to happen is the kids might be playing yet another prank. Again? Let's see. 31. Nice. For your second number, 60. 60. Yes. All right. The third number is 43. 43. You guys, we're three for three. Tonight's fourth number, 8. What? 8. And the fifth number, 39. 39. Let's go. They just won a zillion dollars. Wow. Think of all the chocolate donuts they could buy with that. A whole lot. There's no way. No, I, I swear. I swear. Look, they're about to call the Powerball. Finally, tonight's Powerball is 17. <laughs> oh my god, you guys! We won! Are 
you talking about? We literally won! Look! 8, 39, 60, 31, 43, 17! <laughs> How is this possible? We really won? We really won! Okay, well, we won! 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 We uh, who, who are you calling? I'm calling your parents to let them know that I quit! Um, I don't think you should do that. Why? I just would have him 76 million dollars! That, that would be true. If those were the numbers for tonight's lotto. No, what are you talking about? Look, here. What you were watching was a pre-recorded video, so that was last week's numbers. <laughs> Why would they do that? That's so mean, man. Wow, don't ever do that, guys. That's so not cool. Wait, I just got a text from my mom. Huh? She said she's gonna give you $10 billion, dude. What? Not! <laughs> <laughs> real low. Yeah, but that you thought it was low. real. Real low. Big boxy, keep the Big secret. Big boxy, tell me all your secrets. Whatever. Yeah. You fell for the big lotto, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, are you guys serious? <laughs> she was about to quit. No, 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 no. I don't think so. No more donuts for you two, especially after what you just did. Hey. Did you just put something in there? <laughs> My mouth is on fire! What's in it? Hot sauce! <laughs> Yo, they prank masters. They go back to back. They're three for three. Wow. I got some ideas of how I might prank you in the oh, future. Oh, oh, yeah. You better watch out the next time you're eating a jelly-filled donut. That's all I'm saying. All your secrets, bro. Thick Boxy told me. They're so squishable. Adam hugs him and he cries and he tells Thick Boxy all of his secrets. Well, maybe you should get some milk. Uh, I might help you do it off. Oh, hold on. They pranked the milk, bro. No. Are you serious? Look inside the mug. Ah! Yeah, that was on fire. <laughs> Now's our chance. Okay. She said we're driving her nuts? She's gonna pay for that. Okay, I found it, what should I say? Say, I'm sorry, I cannot be with you anymore. That's not a prank! They took the babysitter's phone to get a breakup with her boyfriend. That's messed up, bro. That crosses the line. Yeah, I mean, the first couple of pranks were pretty funny and pretty creative, but now it's just getting to be mean. Hi, <laughs> Big Boxy. Yeah, You've been eating a lot of cardboard recently, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. You better not prank me, Adam. I'll take your phone. I'll, I'll text your crush. I'll mess up your whole life. Please don't. I might. Please don't. I might. I said perfect. He's calling? Reject it. Okay. He's calling again. Put it on airplane mode. Oh, good idea. Good idea. Okay. Okay, she's gonna be so angry and probably never come back. Yo, they are very smart, but they do be evil, bro. They're using their intelligence for evil. Yeah. Use it for good. Always use it for good, guys. Yeah. <laughs> What's the next break? Ah, uh, I was thinking. You guys ruined my donut. You sure you don't want to finish the rest of it? <laughs> Maybe I should make you eat it instead. Why is my phone on airplane mode? Hello? I, wait, babe, slow, slow down, what are you talking about? <laughs> Hello? Mark? Hello? What? <laughs> you guys texted him and broke up with him? <laughs> That's not funny, bro. That's not funny. That crossed the line. Yeah, these guys are still laughing. They're thinking it's some super silly thing they just did, but in actuality, it's actually not. It's 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 actually really mean. Yeah, Adam. You tell them. Yeah, I would never do that to you. Nope. 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 <laughs> hey, thick shark. Uh, What's up? Says, I'm getting a belly ache. <laughs> this video's stressing me out, dude. They're too evil, man. Great. <laughs> he just said he's blocking me. <sighs> you know what? The lottery ticket, pretty funny. The donut, that was good too. 
even the spiders. But this? This is way too far. <sighs> yeah, well, I guess you won't be back here anytime soon. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Four for four! Yeah. <laughs> He's the third babysitter we've had this month. Oh. <laughs> you restarted the video, John. I didn't mean to I want to high five! I'll give you one. <laughs> is that what this is to you guys? Some sort of game? People's feelings can get really hurt, you know? You should treat people the way you want to be treated. Aww. Okay, well anyways, <laughs> good luck in your boyfriend, Mac. <laughs> oh, don't forget, you still have your morning lotto ticket. That's actually evil, bro. Wow. That's messed up, bro. At least she can eat all the donuts they didn't finish. Let's see what she does She's next. She's gonna eat the donuts with hot sauce in them. Yeah, but Are I- Are you even watching the video? I am, because I have a feeling I know what she's gonna do. I think she learned at the start that the kids are scared of clowns. I think she might pull a little prank on her own. Yeah, let's see. Thank you so much for your help tonight. Really appreciate it. Keep the change. And listen, if you don't want to come back, we totally understand. It certainly wouldn't be the first time it's happened to us. Oh no, I'll be back. Actually, I can't wait to be back. Uh, great, so we'll see you next week? Yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> see you soon, kids. Yeah! <laughs> Have a good night. Oh, we will. She's back, but I bet this time she got a game plan. She got a backpack. I don't know what's in it, but I'm thinking it might be part of the little trick she's gonna play. That's what I'm saying. She got a plan. Mm hmm. Too happy to see me. Oh. Uh, did you hurt yourself? I, yeah, I think I might have pulled something in my back. Oh no! Would you mind uh, helping me crack it? Yeah, sure. Uh, thanks. Okay, so do I like lift you up like uh, like this or like? Uh, 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 I think I need you to show me how to do it first. Well, you d okay. Turn around. All you do, you cross your arms like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. One, two. Oh, my back! Oh, are you okay? No. I am so sorry. Oh my gosh, I think it's broken. Oh. I could not have said that any better than how Justin just said. What were they doing? I don't even understand. What the boy was trying to do was do a little prank where he puts like some crackers in his mouth and then when she helped him, he would have been like <laughs> and it would have sounded real violent. But she actually played the same prank on him. I'm cracking their backs, but they're okay. Well, that's because they're plushies. Huh? Yeah. I need you to call the ambulance. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, and I need you to tell them that. Yeah. <laughs> you got pranked. <laughs> Very funny. Wait, how did you even know that we were gonna? Wonder who that could be. Let's see. Hmm. That's odd. Just a big box out here. Is it boxy? Maybe that's Boxy's dad. I'm a big box. You're a big box, but not I'm that big. I'm a big box now. <laughs> yes, he is. He's dead. Yeah, but maybe that's his dad. That's not my dad. Maybe you should uh, open it. I could do that. Or I could pour this entire bottle of Wait, water no, on it. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Jasmine, what a surprise. You got me all soaked. That's what you get for trying to prank me. <laughs> How did she know she was in the box? Bro, she can read minds. Maybe she has like x-ray vision. Like you can see through cardboard and stuff. I have x-ray vision. <laughs> really? Yeah. What do you see? I see a gallon of milk in there. <laughs> and I see a broken heart. Wow, that's deep. That's what I see. Looking inside Foxy with my x-ray vision. What's in it? Some donuts! <laughs> yeah! How did you know that she was going to be in there? Lucky guess, I suppose. Come on, let's watch a movie. No thanks. 
Oh, please. I'll give you a cookie. Finally. Go yay! Oh. Oh, suit yourself. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Is that white chocolate? Uh-huh. Here, have one. <laughs> ah, oh, that's disgusting. What did you put in that? Ah. I hope I didn't put too much baking soda in it. <laughs> Why would you do that? That's so gross. Wanna play a game? Oh, yeah. Marshmallows. Let's play. Hold on. Watch this. <laughs> ah! You don't need to pull that off. You guys aren't scared of clowns, are you? No, we're not scared of anything. Oh, well, good. Because I heard there's a scary clown that just escaped from a prison nearby. And the police still haven't found him. There's a scary clown on the loose! Yeah, apparently in the Darman videos, they have Pennywise running around, dude. Keep an eye out for us, okay, Justin? You gotta be on the lookout. No clouds are out here. All right. Except for us. Yeah, that's true. Now, Justin gets a little bit scared of clowns. I can't, I can't trust that you're not Pennywise. What makes you say that? Would you tell us if you were Pennywise, Adam? I would. I would, Boxy. <laughs> I'm scared now! And rumor has it, he was last seen in this neighborhood. Now you're just messing with us. No, no, no. What did the lights just go off? Okay, I know you guys are just trying to prank me again, aren't you? No, we swear. Ah! <laughs> All right, you go into that door. You get it, you get it. Fine, but I am not falling for any more of your pranks. It's Pennywise, bro. I have a very, very bad feeling that it is Pennywise. And we find Pennywise very scary. Isn't that right, Foxy Onesie? <laughs> the dabbing Foxy Onesie. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you ever see Pennywise in real life, just dab just like dab that. on him, you go away. Surprise, surprise, nobody's here. I bet you guys got one of your <laughs> 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 nice try. No, we're serious! <laughs> <laughs> like, that's gonna work. It's gonna die! Oh. Oh, like, I'm gonna let some. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Justin! Justin! Dab, 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 dab. Are you okay? Come back up, come back up. I got you, Justin. Oh, 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 ow, Jay! I'm doing that! <laughs> You are. I'm too thick. It's okay, you got it. Get off me. I'm trying to help you, you up. Try to push me down. No. You try to push me down. I was clearly trying to help you up. Now, she just got oofed by a she... oofer clown. Guys, this is just a Darman video. This is not real. Hey, yo, Darman. Why is he making a horror movie now? This is a scary movie. He's really messing with our emotions. Darman is inside the brain of me. Yeah. And there's a lot of deep complex thoughts going on in this thick brain of Justin's. Big, thickly, wrinkly <laughs> brain. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Oh my God, what are you doing? What did I? Call the police. What the hell out there? I can't believe he stabbed her like that. <laughs> she, she's dead. <laughs> I'm laughing at you. You laughing at a time like this? No, 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 I'm laughing at your reaction. Says, I've never been so scared in my life. It's not real, guys. It's a dar man video. What you mean it's not real, bro? That clown is an actor. What? No, he's not a real clown. He's just a guy, he's an actor that has a mask on. What? So don't get scared. Yeah. I won't get scared. <laughs> okay. I won't. <laughs> Stop! Yeah!
You're not taking it seriously. Crazy clown on the loose. Remember, not everything you see on TV is real. Yeah, it is, Adam. Paw Patrol's real. <laughs> <laughs> It's their parents. It's the <laughs> mom and dad. Look at that smile. <laughs> he knows he got him good. Wow. That was so good. Dad, it was you the entire time? Not the whole time. Fake knife prank. And <laughs> fake blood. <laughs> You guys got to admit, I got you pretty good. <clears throat> we knew the entire time it was you. We were just pretending. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Air horn prank. It's the last one, I promise. It wasn't even funny. Well, it wasn't funny when you were pranking all those babysitters that came to take care of you either. Yeah, we didn't want to scare you guys, but we needed to teach you a lesson. That's why when she called us to tell us the plan, we decided to go along with it. Wait, but how did you know that we were gonna pull all those pranks on you? Well, next time you guys want to prank someone, maybe don't leave 21 best ways to prank your babysitter open on your tablet. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I just hope you guys know. We not. know, we know. Always treat people the way you want to be treated. Wow. This really turned to quite an emotional, inspiring video. Yeah. I'm really surprised the parents, they just went along with it. They could have just taken away their phones or punished them or something. Instead, they scared them to oof. Instead, they spent their entire evening planning a prank on their Playing own kids. Playing clowns, try to oof people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Of course. I just hope you guys have better luck with the next babysitter. <laughs> Wait. Does that mean you won't be coming back? Why? We really want you to be our new babysitter. Why? Why do they want her to be a babysitter? She just pranked them so good. Maybe because they realized how cool she actually was. Oh. That she can, you know, roll with the punches and like prank them back. Well, okay. <laughs> but on one condition. You guys have to eat one full baking soda cookie! <laughs> Today we're reacting to a story about a boy scout that makes fun of a girl scout. Hey, we back at it with the darn man. Y'all already know I'm about to buckle up because it's about to be a wild ride. Wow. Okay, let's go. All right, scouts, grab your backpacks and let's head out. Oh, oh man. Okay, so it's boy scouts, bruh. Got my backpack right here. Right, grab your bags and head out. Now, Adam, I was never a boy scout, you know. I was, uh, let's just say I was still <laughs> in the test, too. <laughs> You were a man scout. What? what? <laughs> no, I was a rock scout. I was out looking for rocks. That's how I met Rocky. Oh, you met him there? Yeah, okay. Cool. Now, Adam, you were actually a boy scout. For one year, yeah, guys. Adam's gonna tell us some crazy stories about being a boy scout. Hey, let's go. Pink backpack? Whose is this? Don't tell me this is yours, Sam. No. Mine's right here. Okay, what's wrong with a little pink backpack, bro? Yeah. Huh. Backpack vlogs, he says, say it to my face. <laughs> say it to my face. Wait, pink, I love the color pink. Guys, our background's pink. Like, it's a really cool color. Hey, you already know, uh, that's the color strawberry milk. <laughs> I love that. I do you love strawberry I mean? milk. Hey, Billy, it's yours, isn't it? Wow, can't believe you were. What are you doing here? Okay, wow. Okay. Yo, right off the bat, this guy, he a little bit toxic, bro. You can see kind of the leader. He's like, hey, Billy, uh, don't let me catch you with a pink backpack as though that matters. As they say, he woke up and chose violence. Yeah, bro. Why is he being so negative right off the bat? That's what I'm saying. Who cares what color your backpack is, dude? Everyone has a different favorite color. Who cares, bro? Yeah. What are you doing here? I'm Billy. I just joined. Nice to meet you. Whoa! Oh, chill! Chill! Ow! And he looked the other way. I'm not even gonna look at you. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel bad. I'm so 
sorry. Hey, I keep yelling. Your mom will show up. No. Show up. I'll buy you a Rocky lunchbox. No, what you'll do is buy me some Rocky Road ice cream <laughs> to go eat my Rocky lunchbox. <laughs> okay, deal. Bro. Wow, that's a good move, though. Hey, I'm going to say this. This kind of reminds me of Adam. You know, he gets a little bit flustered around girls. He, he suddenly just, hey, get away from me. Season up. You know what I mean? Getting all nervous. What if at the end it turns out he's just being mean because he likes her? You know what I mean? Oh, let's find out, guys. Scoutmaster John, please tell me this is some kind of joke. I mean, we've never had a girl in our troop. Exactly. So it's time we add one, right? Bailey's going to be joining us today. All right, everybody, before we leave, I want to go over some quick first aid training with you all. So come here, gather around. We're going to start with what happens if you happen to sprain your ankle out there? Oh man, Adam, what do you do if you sprain your ankle? Now, Adam used to be a Boy Scout. He should know this. Okay. Now, it's been several years. I think the first thing you want to do is cry because that makes everything feel better. <laughs> no, wait, that's and not then the you first wait thing you for do. your mom to come there and help you. That's what they taught you in Boy Scouts? I don't know. I, I laughed. They taught you to cry and wait for your mother? That's what I would do. <laughs> Do you know how to fix a sprained ankle? Yeah. Because you're a doctor? Yeah. That was doctor <laughs> school. Really? Yeah. By drinking Dr. Pepper. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> that was part of it, but not the whole thing. <laughs> You said cry and ask for mommy? They didn't teach you that in Boy Scouts. You trolls. First, you want to deal with the pain and the swelling. The best no. thing for that is going to be an ice pack. There's going to be spiders. Bear. Snakes. Probably even mountain lions. When they repeat that every two to three hours, okay? Next, eat little swelling. girls like you for breakfast. You nice sure you want to come with us? Then. Yes, I'm sure. But then He's trying to scare her off. Wow, so he's trying to be like, you sure you want to go camping? There's going to be spiders and bears out there. No, who's scared of little spooters? You know what I mean? Little Not us, we're little, brave, little boys. Little spiders, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I think I see one right there. <laughs> no! Oh. No, no. You have to look brave on camera. Uh, I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I thought it was Spider-Man. I was going to ask for autograph. Okay. I wasn't scared. We better pay attention in case someone at camp gets hurt and needs our help. All right, now don't wrap that too tightly. Otherwise, you're going to cut off the blood. The last person anyone would go to for help is some girl. Besides, stuff is easy. I already know all this. He's not even listening. He just got the headphones out. He said, I'm going to go listen to, I don't know, some Lanky Box songs or something, bro. He probably put on the milk song. That's what I'm saying, milky bro. Milky milk, milky <laughs> milk. That's actually really disrespectful, though. If someone's talking to you or trying to give you instructions, don't put in headphones, guys. Yeah, I always remember when I was in school, kids would get in trouble because when the teacher's talking, they have earbuds in and stuff. Right. Nah, you can't be doing that, man. You got to pay attention. Remember, ice, rap, elevates. Okay, what's so funny? <laughs> he was beatboxing. Yeah, he was beatboxing. Boxy <laughs> says this thing looks a lot like you, Adam. <laughs> okay. Pretty good, huh? That's it, that's it. Keep going. I'm not that good. I'm still Keep practicing. Keep going, Adam. I, 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 I don't want to Do it! it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Milky milk, milky milk. Adam wants that milky milk. Milky, milky, milky milk. That's pretty good, guys. Might be a new song, honestly, on the way. On the way, yeah. Do not lose your trail maps. It is very easy to get lost out here, okay? So keep an eye on them at all times. You guys paying attention back there? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, let's go. It's not too late to turn back and wait in the bus, you know. I'll, I'll be fine, thanks. Just saying, if you get lost, don't count on me or one of the boys to come save you. <laughs> as long as I have my map, I'm good, and who knows, I might be the one saving you. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh! I 
learned a word that I think means this. Foreshadowing. Yeah. I think that he's gonna get in trouble. Maybe he's gonna get bit by a snake or like fall in a hole and like sprain his ankle. And she's gonna have to like teach him to like save his ankle. Dude, that's actually what I was thinking. Cause that really do be like real life. Like what's the point of making fun of her? Adam gets saved by a girl almost every day. It's his mother. She says she's the one saving you. Yeah, right. That never happened. Watch this. Where's he going? Nah. He's gonna take it. He's gonna take it. He's gonna take it. Oh my god. He's oh my god. Oh. He did it. Yo, that's messed up. Hey, that's dangerous, man. Because now she might get lost with no map and actually get hurt, bro. That's true. You should never take something that's not yours. Like, if I had the boxy backpack with, like, the water bottle strap here, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, if I wasn't looking, you could just take it out yeah. and steal from I me. I wouldn't do that, though. That would be mean, bro. It's here? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Okay, not only did you steal, you just littered in the nature. And that's not even magic. What? Didn't he say he was trying to do magic? Now it's here, oh. now it's not. Well, I think he was just being like, ha ha. Oh, yeah. Still not cool. All right, everybody. I'm going to show you how to make a fire. Now, pay close attention because the scout that does the best today is going to win a special badge. Ooh. The fire badge. Wow, I want one of those. Did you ever get your fire badge? No. I never learned how to make fire. I, like I said, guys, I was in Boy Scout, but I quit. I didn't make it the full year. Really? What happened? I just quit. You just gave up. You said, I can't take it. <laughs> yeah. What happened? I think what we were doing was we were fishing. We were trying to learn how to fish, and I ended up catching a fish. And I, like, for some reason felt really bad for the fish that I caught, so I wanted to put it back in the water. But, like, the whole point was to try to catch a fish. So I, like, kept it in the water, and then I let it go, and then, uh, oh, I failed. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. You failed because you were such a good person. No, I saw the fish, like, out of the water, and I felt really bad because it was flopping around. Around, so I put it back and in the water. And then you went back home and you ate a fish with <laughs> Right after, didn't you? You may as well just give it to me now. Everyone knows I'm the best guy here. Well, we'll see. It could go to anyone. Even Bailey. Yeah, right. She should have stuck to selling Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> hey, Trevor. Cut that out, okay? That's yeah, man, cut that out, bro. That is true. What's true? You love Girl Scout cookies. Yeah, dude, yeah, you do too. Yeah, I love the Thin Mints. Yeah, thin All mints. those are good. Yeah. But I don't know why he's being so mean to her. He's trying to be cool, you know what I mean? He's trying to be cool in front of his buddies, you know what I mean? It's whack. If you want to be cool, just be nice, all right? Just be nice. Besides, anything a boy can do, a girl can do too, if not better. Yeah, right. Now, Back to what I was saying. You take your flint and steel, hold it over your kindling. Why is she over there nodding her head? I don't like she understands any of this. Hey, Bailey, this is manly stuff. <laughs> hey, you guys might want to pay attention to this. If there's ever an emergency, a fire is a good distress signal. True. See, to how you make fire, Adam, you rub the rocks together. Uh, rocky. Oh. And you point it at, like, sticky. So oh, and you do this. That's why Rocky and Sticky are buddies, because together they can make fire. Where is Sticky? Sticky's on his way, Adam. That's all we can say. Whoa. Oh, okay, okay. Come on. Yo, the Scoutmaster can't even do it, bro. Oh, he got it. That's how you make a fire. I could have done that in my sleep. Okay, now it's your turn. Everybody choose a partner, go out and find some wood. Stick together. Wow, we were just talking about Sticky. That's what Sticky says. Sticky says stick together. Yeah. Bruh. Guys, no be on the lookout for Sticky. Bruh. And do not lose your map. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, yo. hey Max, wanna be my partner? Uh, actually, I was gonna be partners with Daryl. <laughs> Whatever. Sorry. Sammy, wanna be my partner? Uh, I already chose Billy Man. Sorry. Hi. Your loss. Bruh, that's called karma. Like, he thinks he's so cool, thinks he's being alpha, you know what I mean? Right. But it really backfires because mm. nobody wants to be his friend, bro. He was even mean to the Boy Scout leader when he was making the fire. That's what I'm saying. Like, this he's guy, mean to everyone. Don't be mean, guys. There's no mm. point. Trevor, want to be my partner? Yeah, right. I'd rather go alone. Come on. Everyone else is already taken. And besides, I can help you. <sighs> no way. 
here. Stop following me. I don't need your help. This isn't something a little girl can do. But you heard what Scoutmaster John said. We need to take our maps and stay in two. Well, that's for everyone else, not me. I'm the best scout here. And I don't need some dumb map. And I certainly don't need some little girl as a partner. Yo, chill! He's getting so heated. Hey, guys, now, of course, this is Darman video. These are actors. Hey, shout out this actor. You know what I mean? He got some skills. You know what I mean? But I was really convinced there for a second. I thought, yo, he's getting angry, bro. Yeah. He got real angry. Just chill, bro. Just chill. Trevor doesn't want a girl as a partner, so he runs away from Bailey, leaving her all by herself. Trevor goes deeper and deeper into the forest in search of a good log that can be used as firewood. He finally finds one and decides to head back to camp with it. Everything seems to be going great. Nah, he's lost, bro. He is hopelessly lost, bro. Wow. He, yo, Trevor. My don't guy. go in the forest by yourself, guys. Never do that. Hey, and just don't be mean to people. If he had a partner with him, they said I'll be fine. You right. Know what I mean? Yeah. Bro, but he did find, like, what appears to be a relative of Stickies. Ooh, branchy. Well, all the trees in the world are all buddies and relatives with each other. So, Ooh. they're all interconnected. You know what I mean? I see. Rocky says they all came from the tree of life. <laughs> Are all the rocks connected? Yeah. Wow. That's pretty cool. And the earth is a big rock. Yeah. And the planets I'm are a, all I'm rocks. a big rock. <laughs> well, big Rocky. Compared to big the earth, Rocky. you're real small. Big Rocky. <laughs> I'm big Rocky. Yeah, real Rocky. Yeah. Okay. That is until he gets lost. Bruh. He can't remember which way he came from because everything looks the same. He wanders deeper and deeper into the forest, unbeknownst to him, going farther and farther away from all the other scouts. Yo! All that big smack talk. You he need, can't even read a map. You need your map, my friend. He doesn't have his map. He yeeted it. He yeah, like, Bailey picked it this. up. Bailey picked it up, bro. Oh, Trevor, my friend. As it begins to get dark, Trevor gets worried and starts yelling out for help. Yo, he pulled the Adam technique, bro. Is he saying help? Yeah, he's just crying, basically, bro. I told you guys. <laughs> it's the hack. Shout out, Darman. This is a little detail I noticed. He's actually, he just yelled Bailey, bro. Oh. Look, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at him, look at him. He says, Bailey. Wow, you're good at leading rips. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> You're good at reading lips. He said leading rips? Can you read my lips? Well, actually, says only one person here is ripping them. <laughs> and I'm looking at him. Try and read my lips. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say any words. <laughs> I'm looking at him. <laughs> I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't it. I said you're my yeah, best friend. Yeah, yeah, we saw it. We saw. It. Oh, I can try reading your lips. Okay, read my lips. <laughs> <laughs> If Adam was lost, this is what his lips would look like. Mommy. <laughs> you know what I mean? He starts to wish that he hadn't thrown away his map. Bruh. Trevor begins to panic as he can't find his way back to camp. That would be so scary. That's very dangerous, guys. Hey, never go out in the woods alone, bruh. They you never know what's out there. He starts to run. As he does, he ends up falling and twisting his ankle really bad. He screeches in pain, but no one is around to save him. Can he save himself? He said he knew how to deal with a sprained ankle, bro. He said he knew. We're gonna find out if that was all just not. <laughs> We're gonna find out, Adam, <laughs> if your whole school career was all just not. <laughs> I did go to school, guys, but I didn't For do a that short well. amount of time. Yeah. I'm not that smart. Same here. Same here. <laughs> Hours have gone by, and now Trevor is terrified. He keeps hearing all these noises. Trevor now cries and screams for help, He's only to be Adam. saved He's by the last person he'd ever want to be saved by. Help! What was that? A snake? Or a mountain lion? <gasps> Stay back! Stay back! I'm serious! 
I'm armed. Please don't hurt me. Trevor. It's Bailey, bro. Dude, what are the odds that he got saved right as he dabbed? What? Play it back two seconds. Literally, as he started dabbing, Bailey showed up. Dude. That was actually so crazy. That's actually the hacker way. Yo, this is what you do, Adam. I told you I didn't graduate Boy Scout. Yeah, no, he, Adam, you cry when you get boo-boo and you sit there and you just <laughs> And your mom shows up. Oh, my God. Good, Adam. Very good. Very good. All right, let's Very see what good. happens with Bailey. Bro. Eddie, the whole camp has been looking for you everywhere. Everyone's so worried. Thankfully, I heard you screaming and found this. I wasn't screaming. I was just resting. Really? Because I thought I heard you say, help, help, please, somebody help me. Can you please leave me alone? He's so prideful, you know what I mean? He's getting roasted. He got pride mm. too much, you know what I mean? Yeah. He was literally crying. Okay, he's in a desperate situation, twisted his ankle, and he just can't admit that he just needs help, bro. Right. Man. I'll be fine. I'm just about to get up. Ah! Oh, Ow, my ankle! Ah! Oh. Let me help. It looks really swollen. It feels like it's spring. I said it'll be fine. Let me help you. Yo, Trevor, are you a troll, bro? If you don't get help, your ankle about to be permanently damaged, bro. Chill. If she hadn't have showed up, he probably would have just oofed. <laughs> For real, because he's lost in the forest. A bear's gonna come along. He can't run. I mean, yeah, and he got no food. I mean, Adam's kind of right. I mean, he got no supplies, you know what I mean? And he's still being mean to Bailey. Dude, this guy, hey, this guy a troll, man. Come on. I don't need your help. Oh. Guys, hey, if you ever injure anything like that, you gotta, you gotta not put pressure on it like that, bro. He's trying to stand on a sprained ankle. Just chill, bro. Just let them help you, okay? Let people help you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Remember what Scoutmaster John said. We need to ice it to control the swelling and, and keep it wrapped for extra support. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. I, I was just about to do that. Can you... Hold on to my shoulder and hop one leg, and I'll use my map. It's gone. H have you seen it? Uh, no. Yo, and you a liar, bro. You a liar, bro. Like, what you lie for, bro? He sabotaged both of them he now. Sabotaged. Hey, you played yourself, bro. Wow, he was the imposter. Yo, you... All along. He was playing a mogus in real life. <laughs> yeah. And he was bogus. Wow. You know what I mean? Shoot, okay, well, what would Scoutmaster John do? Make a fire for a oh, signal! We can build a fire and use it as a distress signal. Oh! Great minds think alike. <laughs> Big brain. Wow. So now you know that if you were under pressure, your brain would be able to think about the right survival techniques. Under pressure. Push it down on me. You know what I mean? Bro. Hey, if I was ever in this situation, which I wouldn't be, because I wouldn't throw away my map or be so prideful. Mm. Yeah, I would make a fire very quickly. Yeah, you make some s'mores. Would you share it with me? Oh, really? Throw some hot dogs. Ah, uh, dog, using sticky. Hot dog, yeah. 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 As the firewood? What? Or as the stick? I'm just Bro, kidding. Just <laughs> don't ever joke about that. <laughs> you, you, you don't wrong. <laughs> what? And I, I think literally everything rocks. <laughs> Why would you say that? You sticky as firewood? Why would you say that? He's sticky. He's a stick. No, use him to hold the s'mores and the marshmallow. But hit the tip of him would still get hot. You get warm, but it wouldn't burn. Sorry, Rocky. Let's strike one hand. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Adam. You still rock. Thanks, man. Fist bump. <laughs> So funny! Is that a way of saying he doesn't have hands again? Don't, Adam, don't! Strike two! <laughs> you know what I mean? You're almost out of here. Bro.
Want me to help you? No, I got this. Come on. It's not working. Must be the dumb stick. Here, let, let me try. Fine, but if I can't do it, you definitely can. See, it doesn't work. Come on. There. Now, just let me get some more wood so we can start a bigger fire. Uh, okay. You just rest here. I'll be right back. Wow. Wow, they got a whole roaring fire going. They got a signal fire going, bro. That should be good. Hopefully someone sees it, or it might be scary spending the rest of the night out here. Scary? The only person that'd be scared is a little girl. Stop, dude. Dude, this guy is so crazy. Hi. Just chill. Bro, I don't understand, man. That little girl is you. <laughs> ah, my light. Oh, Trevor. Bailey. Oh, we've been looking everywhere for you. Are you okay? You're hurt. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I wrapped my ankle, just like you taught us. You lie in front of everybody? You didn't do anything. He's saying that I wrapped my ankle, I made the fire, Bailey didn't do anything. I'm getting frustrated, bro. He needs to take a look at your shirt. <laughs> no, 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 it's no. It's purple. <laughs> you want to take a look at it, Adam? No. Take a better look at it. Justin has a shirt that he often wears in our videos. Okay. And there is a there is an important phrase on this shirt. It says, chill. Chill. He needs to do that. Everybody got to chill out. Yeah. Chill out. It makes me angry. Yeah, it makes me frustrated, bro. That's crazy, bro. It is what it is, though. That would be like if the uh, house was really messy and I cleaned up everything and did all the chores. And then my mom came home and you said, I did everything. Like, how frustrating would that be? <laughs> I definitely didn't. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure my, my nose didn't grow when he left. Trevor, I gotta say, this is perfectly wrapped. Thank you. Great job getting the fire going, too. Otherwise, I don't think we would have been able to find you guys. Oh, it, it was pretty easy. Let me help you up. Shout out Bailey, bro. She a real one. She didn't even call him out. She doesn't even care. She just cares that he's safe. You know what I mean? She should have called him out, though. She looking at him like, I don't know. After his third class, so <laughs> Now, Trevor, I am so impressed with how well you've done today that I have decided to give you the special bench. Nah. For best scout performance. Oh, whoa. I don't know what to say. I... Actually, this doesn't belong to me. Wow. You actually own that. Good job. Go. But right, I still go. feel like he's going to make the right decision and probably give it to Bailey. But it took him lying for like 20 minutes and being disrespectful to her and being disrespectful to literally everyone in this camp. Yeah, I mean, that's the crazy part is he roasted literally not only Bailey, but literally all the mm. other campers too. And he makes one decision that's not bad at the end by giving her the badge. And we're just expected to forgive him. I don't know. What do you mean you did everything perfectly, just like I taught you? It wasn't me. It was Bailey. And to be honest, I don't know if I would have survived without her. So here, Bailey, this is yours. Oh my gosh, Trevor, I don't know what to say. I do. I want to say that I'm sorry for how I treated you. And now I know anything boys can do, girls can do too. If not better. Bruh. It's a good message. Can you imagine if at the very end when he was handing her the badge, he was like, psych! Can you imagine what that would have been like? But I'm glad he did the right thing. Oh, he says that would have been messed up, Adam. Yeah, I agree. High five. You wanna high five me? Sure. Okay. <laughs> but good on him for doing the right thing. This was an awesome story. Let's see how it ends. Always do the right thing. <laughs> So, can you please forgive me? Of course. And I'd love for you to be my partner going forward. If that's okay with you. I'd love that. <laughs> okay, well, 
I'm sure everybody is very tired and very hungry, so yes. let's go home, huh? Well, if you're hungry, I actually have some cookies. Wow. Are we being listened to, bro? I think that's one of the most popular ones, though. The do -si dos the tagalongs. They got some good flavors. Too bad I don't normally get to eat them because they disappear. Are we being <laughs> listened to? <laughs> Do you know how the Girl Scout cookies disappear from our kitchen <laughs> here? Huh? Well, my mom always orders a big batch. Yeah. I always ask for the tagalongs and the thin mints, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, they yeah, arrive, yeah, and then yeah, 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 by the next yeah, yeah. day they have vanished yeah, 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 from the yeah, kitchen yeah, 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 before yeah. I get to eat any. Oh, really? There's some crumbs in your bedroom that I noticed. But I was just wondering if you wanted to do the right thing and maybe let me know where those cookies might have went. <laughs> do you know? <laughs> what are you and Foxy whispering to each other? We didn't need them. You didn't need them? We didn't need them. Do you know who did? We didn't need them. Are you lying to me? We didn't need them. <laughs> Sight? <laughs> Sight? <laughs> we did eat them. Oh. We did eat them, man. <laughs> we eat them, eat them. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. We eat them, eat them. It's okay. I forgive you. Eat them. We eat them. Thin <laughs> <laughs> mints. My favorite. It was thin mints. <laughs> what? I love Girl Scout cookies, okay? <laughs> that was crazy, bro. This guy made fun of everybody. <laughs> 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 roasted, roasted everybody. He said, "I hate you, yeah, you, you, yeah, you, you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love them, yeah, man. Yeah, he said, "Hey, <laughs> hey but a cookie's a cookie, <laughs> <laughs> bro." Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Today we are reacting to a story about a TikTok prankster that goes too far. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Frank the prankster. <laughs> <laughs> Frank the Prankster. Wait, that is actually such a sick name, bro. Frank the Prankster, bro. Wow. I might have to take some of Frank's pranks and try them on you. Don't prank me, no. And in today's video, we are going to be doing another crazy prank. Let's get it. He's going to shake up a soda. Uh, uh, Leah, uh, I actually have this extra can of soda. Did you want it by chance? Uh, sure. Thanks, Frank. Nah, wait, wait, a oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Has shaken up a soda and giving it to someone and pranked him. Ah, uh, it might be me. <laughs> <laughs> you and Frank the prankster are in cahoots. Maybe. Wait a minute. This is footage of you shaking up a soda and giving it to me. Yeah, and watch this, guys. It exploded. This is from our prank master video. You already did this to me. Yeah, you're my best friend. Thanks, Adam. You're welcome for the soda that I okay. gave you. Open, open. <laughs> Aaliyah, look what the mess you just made. But it wasn't my fault, Principal Steven. Frank gave me the can. Uh, Principal Steven, I was just being nice by giving her my soda. It's not my fault that she spilled it. He's right. What? The principal is blaming her, bro? Wow. Frank is really good at lying. That's messed up, Frank. The prankster, bro. You can't do that, man. It's just meant to be a ha-ha. You can't blame him. Now she's going to get in actual trouble. Yeah. Now clean this up right away. But I... I don't want to hear any more excuses. Okay. Sorry. Huh? <laughs> you guys, we got it so good. Okay, check me out. If this video hits, let's say, 10,000 views, then the next prank will be even bigger. Let's get it. Oh, man. If this video hits 10,000 views, I'll prank aid. No, if this video hits 100,000 views, I will put a spider on your bed. What? Yeah. You will do no <laughs> such thing. Wait, is there a spider right there? Bugs is, we know you're pranking. We know you're pranking. And we know Adam's one weakness. What? Is that a Luca over there? Luca! Uh, Sight? Hey, I thought I saw him. No, Luca. Uh, well, now I'm sad. We know Adam's weakness. You know, that TikTok you posted yesterday? Really? Yeah, man, it already has like 25,000 views. I mean, that's cool, but like, what if you get in trouble? And what if the principal finds out? 
he won't, all right? If, even if he does, I mean, it's not gonna matter for long because as soon as I start getting a million views a video, Dropping out of this place, becoming a full-time TikToker, man. A wow. full-time TikToker. That's a real thing. I guess so, it yeah. Is. Yeah, it is. Wow. I mean, that's a pretty big decision to go full-time into TikTok and drop out of school. Now, I will say this. We support everybody making content. You know, it's awesome. But he's doing it at the expense of other people. He's getting people in trouble. Exactly, guys. Make sure you never be mean to anyone in our videos. Did you spill ketchup here? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey. This is the origin story of Justin the superhero, Burger Man. I'm sick of getting picked on by you for content, and I'm gonna do something about it. Oh, I'm so scared. I will. I will. Okay. I don't think it's gonna be that easy. Yes, it will, all right? All I gotta do is upload more and more bangers, bro, like the one I'm about to do right now. Learn from the best. Yo, what's going on, Frankster Nation? We are back with another crazy prank. Okay, to be honest, though, hey, the pranks are not cool, but he is very charismatic on camera. That's good. You know what I mean? He's like, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my Frankster, the Prankster channel. You know? I'm engaged. That's what I'm saying. Look at that, man. He's got more energy than us. Wow. He's got better content than us. Gotta so take some tips. That's pretty easy to do. Okay? It's gonna be epic. Let's get it. Yo, hold yeah, what's that? Toilet paper? Come here, come here, hmm. Okay. Dude, I dropped my book. Can you please grab it for me? I hurt my back the other day. Sure. Oh, thanks. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Oh, by the way, um, I think someone left something in, in your locker for you. What is it? What is that? Dude, what do you think's gonna be in there? I think it's gonna be like one of those fake snakes that pops out. Like the snakes you can like push in and it's like springs and then it pops out. Who else do I know who's used one of those on people? Maybe me. Uh, you. <laughs> yeah, it better not be a snake, Adam. Otherwise, you're incriminating yourself. What do you think it is? I don't know. Maybe some Pringles. Ooh. Pringles. We'll see. That's messed up, guys. Hey, that looks like fun, but guys, it's super hard to clean up glitter. If it gets everywhere, it's so hard to clean up. Yeah, guys, and it like destroys vacuum cleaners. Like, it's mean to do that bro, to someone. Oh, that's messed up, bro. Guys, hey, we do not condone any of this behavior, but I will say I can see how he's gonna get views on TikTok doing this, man. That's true. That's crazy. <laughs> We got her. Kenza! I like his friend. His friend is the voice of reason. Look at that. His friend says, I'm disappointed in you. Right. That's the look Foxy gives Adam. Oh. You're not proud of me, Foxy? What? Are you disappointed in me? Sometimes. Only sometimes, Adam. When? Like when you just pulled that prank on Justin. <laughs> oh, sorry right about now. that one. I think you got a little mustard right here, too. What? <laughs> <Hey>! <laughs> Foxy, Foxy, you don't deserve to wear the cosplay. I think you got a little ketchup right here too. I don't. Stop! Stop it! You don't deserve to wear the Boxy cosplay, which looks super lit and which will soon be on LikeyBoxyOut.com. Boxy's all about making friends. You out here pranking, bro. Oh, no. Oh, just don't even think about trying that on me. I I'm, would never. I'm rock solid. Don't. Mm. All right. There's I, nothing on Rocky. I could have sworn there was some Rocky Road ice There's cream. There's not. Mm. What? <laughs> just right here. That's my favorite. Ah! Get lost, man. Go. 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 Oh, it's enough man. pranking out of you. Go! Give me Mega Justy. The rest of this video will now be me and my friends at Mega Justy. Because there he's you nice. Go. Look at how nice he is. He's respectful. I think <laughs> Mega Justy might have something. <laughs> Never mind. No, he doesn't! <laughs> Adam, you being disrespectful, bro. Hey, shout out to the friend, though. They're the voice of reason. What in the world is all of this? I'm so sorry. Someone put a glitter bomb in my locker. I've seen these before. Are you trying to play pranks at school? No, not at all. I have no idea who put this in my locker. Mm-hmm. Clean all of this up. 
He's not even listening to the students. He's just blaming them. Honestly, the solution here is the principal should join TikTok. What? Because then on his For You page, he would get these pranks by Frank the Prankster and be like, wait a minute, Dude, it was Frank all the time. That's actually 900 IQ. That was pretty good. Yeah, if he got a TikTok, he would know who it is. Exactly. I think that might be what happens, bro. Yeah. That might be what happens. Don't want to have to give you detention. Yo, Frank the Nation. I can't believe that that worked. Yo, yeah. Make sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video. And let's see if we can hit 50,000 views and I'll do an even bigger one. Let's get it. Yo, I already know this is going to blow up, bro. I don't know, man. I, I mean, like, how would you feel if someone did that to you? <sighs> Just relax, man, all right? I got this. Wow, oh. the golden rule. Treat others how you want to be treated. Damn. You got some Luca over here. Wait, we got. <laughs> yeah. Ah. You said treat others how you get treated. You get taste your own medicine. You knew I liked Luca. Foxy says we know you're obsessed with Luca. I will do anything to watch Luca. <laughs> Literally anything. Come on, let's get out of here. Did he get you too? Are you talking about Frank? Yep. I knew it was him. What should we do? I don't know. But I'll think of something. They're scheming. That's good. Hey, where's your project then? Oh, who cares? I'm gonna be TikTok famous, bro. That's not a good attitude, bro. You gotta try hard in school, guys. Try hard in school is super cool. I think that the people that he pranked at the start are gonna get Frank back real bad. That's what I'm thinking. They're gonna band together, make a prank on Frank, and get a billion TikTok views. I think the ultimate prank would be to accidentally or like pretend to delete his TikTok account. <laughs> That would make him Dude, super sad. They're gonna iOS hack him. Oh, with the touch face ID. Oh, oh no. no. Check out this video from yesterday. It already has over 100,000 views. <sighs> you know, maybe you should just quit while you're ahead. <laughs> yeah, right, do that. This next video is gonna blow up even more. Check me out, man. Yo, what's going on, Frank's the Nation? It's your homie, and you already know what time it is. We're back with the Nether prank. Let's get it. <gasps> Ooh, he's yeah. got a banana peel. Dude, this is gonna go too far. I know he's gonna put the banana peel on the ground. The person's gonna slip. They're gonna seriously injure themselves. Or someone that he's not trying to prank might end up slipping, like the principal mm -hmm. or the teacher. I don't know. But I will say, like I said before, he's really good at being a YouTuber TikToker. Yeah. You know I mean? We're back with the Nether. Back with Let's another prank! <laughs> That's dangerous! Oh man. Oh. Why did you put that there? Someone could slip and fall. That's exactly the point. You just wait for it. No man, no, it's not cool. <laughs> oh no, my project! Are you alright? Oh. What happened? his project that he probably worked really hard on. It looks sick too. I couldn't even see it. It happened so fast. It was a dinosaur, bro. It was a dinosaur made of wood. Nah, mm. Don't tell me that's how the video ends, bro. Wow. That's probably how the dinosaurs went extinct. Yeah, he's gonna get revenge. He's gonna call in his dino friends. <laughs> and they're gonna oof Frank. No. Don't do it. Who in the world? Hey, yo, would... Frank's the nation. We got him. Yo, I'll tell you guys what. If this video breaks 500,000 views by tomorrow, then I will do my biggest prank ever. Let's get it. I know it was you who put the banana peel over there. I can't believe you did that. You completely ruined Brandon's project. Oh, come on, guys. It was just a prank. It's not just a prank. You could have seriously hurt him. You should know that your actions always find a way of coming back to you. I agree. <laughs> seriously, Mark? You too? Okay, yeah, come on. You guys are just little- Good morning, class. I'm sorry I'm late. Who made that big mess? Frank put a banana peel on the floor so I would trip, and it completely ruined my project. Frank, is that true? 
Bruh. Now, do you think Frank is going to lie? Or do you think he's going to own up to his own actions and say, it was me, I'm sorry? <laughs> oh, most definitely. <laughs> Which one? Huh? Which one do you he's say? He's going to lie. Oh. He's going to lie like a french fry. Wow. He's going to lie like his life depends on it. All right, let's see. His TikTok career depends on it. No, no, Miss J, it was an accident. I was throwing away my banana peel in the trash and... I guess I must have missed. I'm so sorry. <sighs> yeah, right. You did it on purpose. If you look at his TikTok- Brandon, it's not nice to accuse people. Yo, all the teachers are kind of crazy in this video. They don't listen to what they're saying. And she has an iPad in her hand. If she would just go to TikTok and look up Frank the Prankster, she'd see the evidence right there. Maybe she's banned from TikTok like me. Maybe. That's gotta be it. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. He said it was an accident. Besides, we should all be more careful to watch where we're going. Now, come on, and just clean it up. But Brandon's telling the truth. That's enough. It's nobody's fault. Come on, Brandon. It's not gonna clean itself up. What? Wow, I should use that line on you. That's what Adam's mom says to both of us after we get done playing with our toys. She yeah. says, it's not gonna clean itself up, Justy. <laughs> Pick up the Mega Block. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> and then you say they are going to get cleaned up by yeah, Adam. True. And then I have to clean them up. True. Yeah. True. Otherwise, my mom ends up stepping on all of them. Uh, true. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll help you. So will I. How can we make Frank Oh, pay they're scheming. They're scheming, bro. They say, how can we make Frank pay for all of this, bro? Dude, what do you think is going to be the ultimate prank? I think they're going to pretend to delete his TikTok. What do you think they're going to do, Boxy? Got any good ideas? What are you thinking? Boxy thinks that they're going to use a real because <laughs> The ultimate prank. <laughs> the ultimate prank. That was you. That was you. Oh. <laughs> you just oh. did that with your mouth. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Boxy, can you please explain to Justin that that was just Justin making Boxy, a noise? Adam, just own up to what you do. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> oh, did it again. Hey, come on, bro. Boxy. Oh. Into Come Justin. on, Adam. <laughs> See, that'd be the ultimate prank. See how flustered Adam gets. Yeah. <laughs> See, <laughs> that was you. That was him. Someone's got to teach him a lesson. Hmm. What if we put a thumbtack on his seat? Yeah. What? That's like from Prank Master. You can't put it. Nah, that's dangerous, bro. A thumbtack? Yeah, don't do that. Nah. Ever, but that could actually hurt. Yeah, true. That's exactly what we're saying. Don't ever do that. It's not like you cared about me falling. How about if we shave his head? I like that, but it can take him months to grow it back. Why are you sticking up for him? After everything he's done to us? How would they shave his head without him knowing? How do you do that as a prank? Maybe if they give him like a lot of things that make you sleepy, like turkey or milk <laughs> for lunch, <laughs> and then he'll fall asleep in class. <laughs> What are you talking about? If you give turkey. Frank a big plate of turkey. Turkey makes people sleepy? Yeah. No, he does And then he'll fall asleep. And then they can just shave his head while he's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> turkey or milk? <laughs> or a combination. If I was going to shave his head without them knowing it, I would get the shaving thing right here. And I would say, hey, Adam, what's that over there? What's what? Right here, they turn back. And <laughs> See? Ooh. See? That's a good one. Didn't we tell Frank that his actions will always find a way to come back to him? Yeah, but that's what we're doing. We're making his actions come back to him. True, but that also means our actions will come back to us. Oh, wow, I... Never thought about it like that. That's actually 900 IQ, bro. That's 900 IQ. Yeah, because if, if someone's mean to you and then you're mean back to them, you're still mean to that's, someone. That's the circle of life, bro. You can't do that. Gotta end the cycle of anger mm. and pranking, bro. Right. So you're saying we just don't do anything? It'll catch up to him. We just have to wait. I bet he's about to pull another prank. Let's see what he's doing. Yo, what's going on, Frankster Nation? We are back with another prank, guys. I can't believe that that last video went viral. You guys are crazy, but we are back. Check this out. Look. 
Yo, this prank is gonna be lit. Let's get we it. We got the mail. I saw one thing and one thing only. Uh -huh. And what did I say? Uh -huh. The mail. He has milk because it makes you sleepy. <laughs> Dude! It makes you sleepy. <laughs> Doesn't make everybody sleepy, just you, Aiden. Back, check this out, look. Yo, this prank is gonna be lit. Let's what get What is this prank? He's gonna fall. He's that gonna ladder is really tall. Tall whoever walks through that door. We gotta stop him. Milk and feathers. What kind of prank is this? Well, it's probably because milk. He's trying to turn him into a chicken. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, you probably like this prank. What? You'd want to get pranked on this way. No, nah, bro. You wouldn't want to have milk and feathers on you? No, nah, you want to have the milk on you. I just want the feathers. Oh. Dude, I know what's going to happen. Probably the principal is going to walk through here, bro. Oh, the principal and the teacher. Yeah, together, bro. Oh. Can one of you record him, please? Yeah, sure. What's your plan? To expose him. Just watch. Yo, Frankster Nation. Yo, okay, we are back. And look, 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 look at the setup. <laughs> Yo, this is going to be crazy. I'm telling you guys right now, this is going to be epic. And all I ask is for this video to hit 1 million views. And I'm coming with more and more banger. Okay, okay guys, I hear, I hear footsteps. <laughs> okay. Yes, dude. When she comes out the door, she's going to duck. Let's see. Wait, wait what? Oh! No. Steven, I, I, Frank, what in the world? I, 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 I can explain. Um, no, 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 Principal Steven, I, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. It, it's not what it looks like. It, it was an accident. You expect me to believe that that was an accident? Yes, yes, it was an accident. I, I am so sorry. You are in big trouble in my office right now. was intense. Bruh. Oh man, what do you think these guys are gonna say now? Oh, they're gonna say it found a way of coming back to him. Frank pranked himself, bro. Wow, yeah. Bro. That's I crazy. bet their video of him is gonna get a million views. Yeah, that's what I said, that they would get famous, bro. Did he get it? Yeah. Wait, were you the one who told the principal to? Yup, <laughs> we got it back good. <laughs> Let's see the video. You So, how long do you have to do this for? <sighs> like a month. Dang, that sucks, but I tried telling you that. I know, I know. Your actions always have a way of coming back to you. That's true, guys. Hey, that's true. I've said it once and I'll say it again. The world is really like a boomerang. Whatever you throw out always finds a way of coming back to you like a boomerang. I've said it before and I'll say it again. <laughs> You're a boomer. A boomer. <laughs> the last airbender. <laughs> and together we are boomerang. When the world needed me the most, I disappeared. <laughs> oh, yup. I got all the elements. I got earth, <laughs> children, <laughs> and cardboard. <laughs> Master of all four elements. <laughs> There's only three of them. Frank. Whatever. <laughs> Boomerang. Hey, Frank. <laughs> We've been looking for your TikTok account, but we can't find it. Yeah, well, that's because my mom made me delete it, so. His mom made him delete his TikTok? Wow. That's the right thing probably for the parent to make him do. Because otherwise, he would be motivated to keep pranking people. Mom, um, that sucks, but at least you got what you wanted. What, what? What are you talking about? A video that broke a million views. I check it out.
50,000. <laughs> they got famous for exposing the Frankster, bro. Wow. So it turns out they did not end up using a whoopee cushion. <laughs> that was the best guess I had at the time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did you learn your lesson here? Are you going to keep pranking me in the future? I will never <laughs> prank you again. Very good. Because if you do, it'll have a way of coming back to you. Yeah. Would you mind grabbing me that boxy uh, thing over there? Yeah, just stand up and grab it. What? Just boxy stand up. It's over there. Yeah. Oh, you want me to stand up? I picked it up. I just wanted you to. You were going to put a whip because you're on my chair, weren't you? No, I was going to pull your chair out from under you. Oh. Things always have a way of coming back to you, Adam. Would you mind giving me Mega Justy? Oh, yeah, sure. Go. Okay, here he is. <laughs> yeah! We're reacting to a story about a student that gets suspended for dress code and what happens next is shocking. Okay, let's go. That's so crazy. I hope they accept Amber. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Huh? Hey, Principal Adams. Yo, wait, okay, first off, this is, it said it was inspired by a true story. Now, I don't know if every Darn Man video is, but this one says it, so it must be inspired by a real story. Oh, guys, see if you can relate to this Okay, one. so this must be the principal or something, or a teacher. She's not mm. happy right away, bro. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, Principal Adams. What do you mean? Your shorts. They violate the school dress code. No, they don't. How so? You have this. Put your arms down straight. Aha! Your hands reach further than your shorts. What? What? what kind of rule is that? What? I've never heard that rule, but maybe it's really popular in school. Huh? If your hands reach further than your shorts, what? What happens if you just have really long yeah. arms? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> my arms are super long. If you T-pose, then you'll never reach it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Justin, this does not fit the leggy box dress I W-pose on him. <laughs> I, I can take W. Don't expect me. <laughs> I got a cool dress code right now. Because Boxy's hands don't reach. Huh? <laughs> Boxy, you're suspended. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, not just because I have long arms. Yeah, that's what we're saying, bro. That's what we're saying. You got long arms, bro. Yeah. I don't want to hear any excuses. Take this. I'm lighting you up. What? No, she can't help it if she has long arms. It doesn't matter, girls. Rules are rules. But... Uh, what about him? His arms are clearly longer than his shorts. <clears throat> his shorts are not creating a distraction to learning. What? Yours are. Well, actually, your mom was saying our YouTube shorts were creating a distraction to our learning. Oh, because we make a lot of making them. videos, shorts, as she says, you're not getting the learning. I don't think that's what they're talking about here, but oh, I think that oh, different kinds of shorts. Right, we make YouTube shorts, oh. but they're talking about like the clothing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Just because I'm a girl, that makes what I wear a distraction. That's not fair. <laughs> is not fair. Two more of these and you'll be suspended. You can't be serious over my shorts? That's insane. Our dress code doesn't even make any sense. Yeah. What, bro? Wow. You get suspended for the shorts, bro. That's insane. That's crazy. Someone should really look into it. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Not what we just talked about. Hey, Ted. Hey, Alex. Hey, how you doing? Good. Good. Okay, okay, hey, I noticed she does, she's not even wearing shorts. She's wearing full pants. So, hey, no problem today. Yeah. yeah, the principal should say, awesome. No problem, no problem. What do you think you're doing? I'm just walking to class. Why? Not with that tank top on, you're not. What? What do you mean? It is clearly against the dress code. Hey, yo! Does this principal <laughs> have nothing better to do than just sit on the wall like this and Adam. just yell at her? Dude, I think the principal's making up the rules as she goes. Because why is that a problem, bro? Yeah. Huh? Girls are not allowed to wear straps that are less than three fingers wide. This? What? Is not allowed. There's some very specific rules, though. But I think these are real rules, man. I, th I think people really have these rules, bro. Yeah. Okay. What if you had a rule that it couldn't be wider than sticky? What? 
That would be kind of cool. Yeah, you know what I mean? You could use Stinky as a measuring stick. <laughs> Yo, but that's not, that doesn't even make sense because different people have different, their hands are different thicknesses. You know what I mean? So that doesn't even make sense. What's so funny? Yeah. What's so funny? <laughs> that's facts. Straight facts, no printer. Yeah. That doesn't even make sense, dude. Huh? I'm not allowed to wear tank tops. That'd be too muscular. <laughs> Is that the reason That's why? That's the reason why. Because <laughs> you're too much. That's the reason why. <laughs> I don't see a problem with what she's wearing. Yeah. I mean, we wear shirts like that all the time. Oh, they're wearing tank tops, bro. Yeah, and the principal's oh. not getting mad. That's mm. messed up. That's crazy. Less than three fingers. I said girls cannot wear straps like this. Did you hear me say boys? But... Why should a dress code only apply to the girls and not the boys? I am not going to keep explaining this to you, Amber. Ted and Alex's shoulders are not distracting. Yours are. What? This principal needs to spend less time being mean and more time doing cool stuff for the school. My shoulders are distracting, bro. Yeah. I got bolder shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got bolder shoulders. <laughs> They'd be too muscular, bro. You know what I mean? Hey, Rocky. It's not Rocky. It's my shoulder. <laughs> Rocky says Justin's shoulders rock. <laughs> Thanks, Rocky. Yeah, they do. <laughs> this is really impressive. I saw people do it on TikTok. Stop it! I never would have even noticed them if you hadn't said something. Stay out of this. I'm going to write you up again. What? No! How does it make sense that girls should get punished because some boys get distracted so easily? Shouldn't you be talking to the boys then and not the girls? Enough! This is strike two. That's what I was thinking, bro. This strike two, if she gets a third strike, she's expelled, bro. Yeah! Go home and change your clothes. I don't want to have to give you a late violation also. It's fine. I have a jacket in my backpack. I'll just put it on over my shirt, even though it's 100 degrees outside. Good. Much better. But it still doesn't get you out of this. Why? Why? She's trying to, to listen to the rules. Why? Wow. This principal is just looking for a reason to be mean. Oh, that's crazy, man. Strike yeah, two, man. guys. I'm really to go through all of that. Literally makes no sense. The school dress code is so outdated. It's a good thing I have a plan to change it. She got a plan. What's the plan, bro? What's the plan? I don't know, but we're you, about to you see. You man with the plan. Yeah? Foxy says, what's the plan, Aiden? I don't have a plan, but I'm excited to you see hers. You man with the plan. <laughs> and, and you're I'm a can. <laughs> I'm a Foxy with a can. <laughs> <laughs> what's so funny? You look like a jelly bean. Danny says, I'm not a jelly no, bean. No, 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 Foxy, when you're Foxy, in that. I'm not a jelly bean either. You've been watching, Adam. You've been watching. Okay. You girls won't believe what I found. What's up? I've been doing some research, and it turns out the school dress code was written in 1919. 1919? That's a really long time ago. Whoever wrote that is probably oof. What? Whoever wrote that's probably oofed unless they live to like 130. 1919. That's like the dinosaur time. So you think the good dinosaur wrote this? <laughs> oh! I love that movie. It's real sad. All right. Okay. And I've got a lot of other facts about why it needs to change too. I made a little presentation. You see, it. Hello, students. I have an important announcement to make. Next week, the superintendent is coming, and I want to make a great impression. I have put together a short video about the dress code requirements so that everybody follows them. Principal Adams, I have a question. Mm -hmm. What's the point in following a dress code if it's so out of date? Yeah, Amber did some research and found out it was written over a hundred years ago. Hey, yo, chill. Everybody's gonna get written up, bro. Everybody, everybody's gonna get in trouble, bro. Oh, bro, no. She did. <laughs> okay, well then, great. Amber will have no problems following everything in this video. <laughs> I know. Drop your hands. What? What? <laughs> what? What's going 
what is going on? She made a video of herself, bro. We're watching a video where they're watching a video. Wait, and the principal made herself look like an action hero or something. <laughs> <laughs> Do the three finger check. Do, Do I pass? Huh? Do I pass? Yeah, pass. All right, cool. Yeah. Pull. What? what Repeat was that after one? me. I don't know. I will not wear short shorts. I will not wear short shorts. I will not show my shoulders. Are they trying to brainwash people? Yo, this not, they said this is based on a true story, bro. What kind of story is this, bro? There's no way a principal made a video like this, shoulders. bro. I will not wear yoga pants. I will not wear yoga pants. Again. I will not wear short shorts. I will not show my shoulders. Sometimes when we get in trouble, your mom makes us do stuff like this. I will pick up my toys. I will clean up after I eat. You know, yeah. I do stuff like this. And you still don't do it, so this doesn't even work. I W pose on it. <laughs> I W. I hope this video makes the dress code requirements crystal clear. I'm confused. All it shows is what the girls can't wear. What about the boys? The boys don't have a problem following the rules. It's the girls I'm worried about. But that's because they don't have any rules to follow. You know, you have a lot of nerve talking back to me, Amber. Especially since you're on the verge of being suspended. Now, is there anything else you'd like to say? Bro, hey guys, as always, this is a Darman video. These are actors, but y'all already know, hey, she's really good at playing like the mean principal, bro. I'm getting kind of nervous, bro. Yeah, she's probably very nice in real life, but in this video, man, it's getting kind of tense in here. When I get nervous, I oh. You get hungry? I get hungry and you stress eat. That's what I thought. Now, as I was saying, this isn't fair. What did you say? I said, the school dress code isn't fair. I've done a lot of research and I've put together this presentation. You see, first off, it's out of touch with reality. The dress code was written in 1919. You know what other rules existed back then? <laughs> Enlighten me, Amber. Women couldn't vote. Are we seriously going to enforce rules that were written during a time when it was illegal for girls to even voice our opinions? Exactly. Oh, Amber. Oh, quiet, you two. And it completely discriminates against girls. I've read every page of the dress code. There's 37 mentions of what girls can't do. You know how many there are of what boys can't do? No, no, I don't. Zero. Everything says girls can't do this, girls can't do that. Well, what about the boys? Okay, so it's outdated and it's one-sided, you know what I mean? Yeah, I also okay. like how she's standing up for herself and she literally stood up. Yo. That's how you make a point. True. See, if I was like, you know, I like apples, you wouldn't even believe me, but if you stand up and say it. I'm thick! <laughs> you believe me now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 On the real, guys, I think she's getting in trouble, but I like what she's doing here because she, she made a sensible presentation. She's presenting her points very clearly, you know what I mean? Very organized. Right. When I was wearing my tank top earlier, were my shoulders distracting you? No, not at all. It wasn't even until Principal Adams brought it up that I even noticed. Same here. You see? Not all men are pigs. Just like not all girls aren't objects with just legs and shoulders. We deserve to be heard and seen and respected, not just judged based on our outfits. Fine. Since you're so smart, Amber, what exactly do you propose? A fair policy for everyone. No gender-specific rules, no double standards. If girls can't wear short shorts, neither can the boys. If girls can't show their shoulders, neither can the boys. It's time we see girls as more than just the outfits that we wear. We need to have equal rules for all. Okay, respect. Okay, respect. Wow, okay. I like the inspirational music. Yeah, that, yo, okay, okay. Yes, this huh? video is less than halfway over, so I have a feeling everything's feeling real good right now. Yeah, something crazy. Something's I, gonna I, I be got, a twist. I got a funny feeling in my tummy, and it's not just wanting to eat a Happy Meal. Right. Something's gonna go wrong, bro. I think the principal is gonna do some crazy thing, and like, I don't know, man. We'll see.
<laughs> oh, that would never work. That is the most ridiculous idea I have ever heard. But Principal Adams- That's enough, Amber. You know, I have tried to be nice to you, especially considering you're once again violating the school dress code. What How? are you talking about? My straps are more than three fingers. I'm not talking about your tank top. I'm talking about your ripped jeans. I've read the whole dress code. There's nothing in there that talks about ripped jeans. Why the ripped jeans against the dress code? Then that, that makes no mm. sense, bro. Yeah. Why? You have ripped jeans? Yeah. He buys jeans new and then rips them himself. because It's going to make me look like a bad boy. Or sometimes I just stumble and they rip. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you can't wear them. Well, maybe we should start a new rule. Effective immediately. No girls will wear ripped jeans to school. Okay, she's just making up rules as she goes. <laughs> and she was like, I tried being nice to you. And she was never nice. What did you Yeah, mean? what did you try? You were mean well, to her every time. She just made up her own rules. That'd be like me making up a rule. No wearing cans right now. No! <laughs> no! No. Well, I don't think many yes, people no, wear there, cans. Huh? Like, not many people wear cans, so that rule really wouldn't apply. And he says, anyone can. <laughs> anyone can wear a can. <laughs> I'm wearing a can now. Uh, no mm. can. Huh? You can't. <laughs> we can do it. Adam. Are you learning nothing from the video? Come up here, Amber. She's gonna get expelled. What? what are you doing? Teaching you a lesson. I'm going to duct tape those holes. What? No, you'd ruin my jeans. <laughs> they already look ruined. And besides, you have no choice. It's either this or you get your third violation and you're suspended. Hey, yo! <laughs> what do you think she's going to choose? Get suspended or do what the principal says? Bro, it should be neither. That's ridiculous. Hey, you can't do that. You can't do that. If you're a principal, you can't just duct tape the pants, bro. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> so funny, Adam. No. This Don't is... make me duct tape your pants. <laughs> I will. Are you the principal? I'll show you, Adam. <laughs> What are you doing with stand that up, tape? Adam, stand up, stand up. See these pants. <laughs> Take that. Take that. Wow, I really learned my lesson. Yeah, I bet you did, Adam. Thanks, I bet Principal you did. Justin. I bet you did. So what's it going to be? Well, in that case, I'm also in violation of the dress code. So you'll have to write me up too. Sit back down. Hey, yo, respect, okay? They're wow. All okay, let's go. I said girls can no longer wear ripped jeans. Now get back over here. That makes no sense, bro. Yeah. No sense, bro. Why? This principal is a dork. <laughs> dork. <laughs> okay. I am going to set an example out of you. No, I'm sorry. Fine. Then you've given me no choice but to suspend you for one week. That's insane. You can't do that. Ooh, but I can because I'm the principal. I tried to give you so many chances, Amber. Now you're suspended. But this is going to be on my permanent record. I'd ruin my shot at going to UCLA. Oh, well you should have thought about that before you decided not to cooperate. Now get your things and go home. Hey, yo. She really got suspended for a couple of rips in her pants? That doesn't even make sense, bro. Remember that episode of Spongebob where he rips his pants? What? You think she would suspend Spongebob? I don't think so. You better not! <laughs> Suspense, SpongeBob. <laughs> Rocky says I was I was doing the duct tape, so she wouldn't feel alone. Wow, Rocky. Rocky says I want to look like Foxy and Boxy. <laughs> Rocky says I want to fit it. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. Like, what's so funny, bro? Rocky, you don't have a box, so why would you have I tape? Wanna, I want to be like them <laughs> because Foxy and Boxy. Rock. I mean, you could do that if you want, but they have tape because they're a box. He says, look, now, now we look similar. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny, dude. Like, why are you laughing, Rocky, bro? Rocky says, look at it. More than three fingers. <laughs> I'm not in trouble. <laughs> Gonna fit in. Make some friends. <laughs> Stop laughing at Rocky! <laughs> it 
Foxy. He's doing everything he can. I know, I know. He's, he's, he's awesome. Please. Go. Now. That wasn't right. What you just did. As long as I'm the principal, I decide what's right. Nah, that's actually not true. That's actually not true, bro. Yeah. You might decide what's right and wrong in the confines of the school, but you don't decide what's right and wrong in life. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, and is she like the only teacher here? Like, where are all the other teachers? That's true, man. That's true. Where are the other adults, man? And let this be an example to all of you, especially the girls, that going forward, you better follow the dress code rules. And absolutely, when the superintendent is here. Bro, I think I know what's gonna happen. When the superintendent comes, everybody is gonna purposely break the code or something to show that they support Amber, bro. Dude, you know how I was just talking about SpongeBob? What, bro? <laughs> Really? Like, dude, think about Plankton and Spongebob. He has a wife that's a computer on a wheel. And what is Plankton's wife's name? Karen. And this principal is kind of like a, a Karen. And she's wearing blue just like Plankton. Wait, and they got the TV on the wheel. That looks exactly like Plankton's wife. Something is spooky here, guys. Yeah. And Patrick Starr lives under a rock. Yeah. Bro. Wow. Adam might have cracked the case, guys. The principal walks out as all the students look at each other in disbelief. When Amber gets home, she's so upset about everything. She thinks about what to do and then decides she's not gonna stay quiet. So she makes a video about what happened. She tells the story about how she got suspended and points to all the reasons why the dress code is unfair. Before long, Amber's video racks up lots of views. It gets thousands of comments from students, parents, and even teachers all showing support to change the dress code. Amber and her friends can't believe it. Yo, respect to Amber, you know what I mean? She took matters into her own hands, bro. Yeah. She made the presentation, she tried to present it, it didn't go well, then she presented it to the internet, bro. Now we're gonna see what happens to the principal. Bro. Our girls are not a, a distraction. Clothing does not define our daughter. daughter. What do we want? Evil rules for all. Our girls are not a, a distraction. distraction. Where are all the other students? Um, I don't know. And what are you wearing? Those are way too short. Oh, really? Well, let me see. Oh, shoot. You're right. You're right. Oh, put your jacket back on and cover yourself. You know the superintendent is going to- Principal Adam! What is going on out there? Hello, superintendent. So nice to see you. Don't worry a thing about what's going on out there. It's just a few people are a little upset about the dress code. It's outfits like that that make it hard for students to concentrate at school. I'm going to write you up. If you're going to write her up, then you have to write me up too. Dude, I called it! Yeah! Wow! Ooh. Are you all right? I called it, dude. What'd you call? They're all gonna show at the same time they support Amber. They about to show up, you know what I mean? Wow. That's like Rocky, bro. He said, I, I show support <laughs> my friends. Oh, cool. I'm not just a rock. I, I know you're not. You some duct tape on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a good friend. <laughs> True! Fine, I will. Just give me a moment to write her up. I am so sorry about this. I'm going to discipline these girls. Discipline them for what? For violating the school dress code. You may as well write me up too then. Oh, good Lord. Fine, I will. Just wait. You should include me too then. Me too. In fact, you're gonna have to write all of us up. Come on, guys. Yo, what's up? Hey, hey. Principal. Hey, you doing, man? Thanks for coming. What? What in the world is going on? We all stand for Amber. 
Yeah. And if you're gonna suspend her, you're gonna have to suspend all of us. Because we plan on dressing like this every day. Equal rules for all. Equal, Equal rules for all. Equal hey, rules for yo. all. Hey, yo. Wow. Pretty soon the principal is not gonna have any students to even principal. Yo, that's uplifting, bro. They all stood together. They all worked together. We're so funny. <laughs> I have no idea what I just said. <laughs> but that's okay. I really like this video. It's really uplifting. <laughs> a boxy hammer. Boxy shit. Oh, wait. You look kind of like Rudolph the reindeer. <laughs> what? Boxy, when he has sticky on him, looks like a reindeer. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is such an uplifting video. Are you talking about reindeers? Evil rules for all! Quiet! Look, I don't know what's going on at this school, but, but, but this? This is completely unacceptable. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I'm going to discipline each and every one of you. Yo, I see what he's saying. The superintendent didn't even care about the dress code. He's saying her making a big deal of the dress code is more distracting than the dress code itself, bro. Yeah, you know he didn't I mean? care about the dress code. He cared about Karen, the principal. And what if he writes up the principal? She's been writing up all these students. What if he's like, you're gonna get a taste of your own medicine. I'm gonna write you so up. So you're saying he might be plankton. <laughs> No, that's not what I'm saying. For what? That's what I came here to tell you. We're getting rid of the school dress code. What? You can't do that. I can do this because I'm the superintendent. Besides, the board voted on it a few days ago. It's a done deal. So I'll be taking those, thank you. Now then, every student that has a dress code violation on their record will have it removed immediately. Woo! Let's go! Yeah! From this day forward, we're going to have equal rules for all. What? Yeah. 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 Oh, they're gonna tell Amber, bro. Guess what? What? There's no more dress code and your whole record is going to be wiped clean. What? No way, that's so amazing! Woohoo! Oh, yeah, bro! <laughs> I still can't believe I got into UCLA. I know, I was so nervous opening my acceptance envelope with my oh, heart was pounding. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> you still haven't heard from them? No. I heard they send out their acceptance letters first, so that probably means that I got rejected or waitlisted. Hey, honey. Hey, girls. Hey, boy. Amber, this came in the mail for you. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is it. My future is in this envelope. Oh, what? what? Okay, so what's this? Like a. It's a college acceptance letter, so she got into like her dream school. Wait, we're about to find out. We'll see. Hey, hey. yo. Okay, it says, yeah. Dear Amber, we regret to inform you that your college application is denied. I'm so sorry, honey. Why would they deny you? You have better grades than us. Do you think it was because of the suspension? Maybe they didn't remove it. Yeah, maybe. Or could just be that I... <sighs> I'm just kidding! I got it! Hey, yo! What? <laughs> Okay, she did trick us. Today we're reacting to a story about a kid that pretends to be sick so we can skip a test. Okay? Okay, can anyone tell me what kind of an angle this is? How about Mikey? Oh, oh he's not listening. Dude, that's the worst when you don't want to be called on at school and you get called on, bro. Yeah. What do you mean, what kind of angle is that? That's a normal angle. <laughs> what kind of angle is this? <laughs> yeah! Starting out hot in this video. Wait, this kid gonna pretend to be stinky? <laughs> what? You said that's, a, that's the title of the video. Kid that pretends to be sick. Kid pretends to be sick. Oh. I think he said, what angle am I? Uh, what you talking about, bro? You're in a very acute angle. Good one, Adam. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
listening to music in my class, eh? Give them to me. Sorry. Can you tell me what kind of angle number one is? Mm. A triangle. That is incorrect. You did do last night's reading assignment, right? It, yeah, I just didn't remember that one, that's all. Good, because I have a little surprise for everyone. Pop quiz! No! Oh, oh, pop quiz! Not a pop quiz! Dude, that's oh. the worst feeling when you get called on and you get the wrong answer. Bro, that's embarrassing, bro. Yeah. That's not cool. All right, everybody take your stuff off your desk except for your pencils. And don't turn the paper over until I ask you to. Oh, this sucks. Should have that reading like I told you to. Oh, so they're buddies, okay? They're buddies, or they might be brothers, okay? And this one being the goody goody two shoe say, You should have done the reading like I told you. That's what you say to me. Yeah, I always say, Justin, did you do your homework? I did my home four. <laughs> I'll be eating, though. Bruh. Just turn your quiz towards me, okay? And I'll copy the answers. No. That'll be cheating. Bye. So I decided to Don't cheat, it. guys. Don't mm. cheat, bro. Don't cheat in school. Yeah, the only cheating we do at Lanky Box is what? Cheating to the Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll figure something else out then. Are you alright? No, my stomach. It really hurts. Did you eat something bad? <sighs> Maybe. I'm allergic to peanuts. They might have been in something I ate. Oh! Oh, in that case, you better go to the nurse's office. But I don't want to miss your quiz. It's okay. <laughs> oh! I don't want to miss your quiz. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, bro. Wow. Your health is more important. Okay, that's a legit teacher, okay? Health is way more important. Thanks, Mr. Matthews. I'm really sorry. It's not your fault. Just feel better. He just swagged on him. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, they're playing. Oh, they're playing. Oh, they're playing basketball. Wow, guys, Justin's really good at basketball. Yeah, like me. super good. Yeah, you know me. You know. Yeah. I be dunking to the donut. <laughs> Let's go. All right, everyone. We're doing one mile today. What? Are you crazy? That's way too far. Could do two miles. Let's go. Follow my lead. I don't run. One mile? How, how you run a mile? I remember when I was in school at like second grade, we had to run the mile once a year and I was always really stressed because I'm not very fast at running. Did you fall down? I slipped in the mud one time. Reenactment of Adam running. <laughs> he just gave up. Huh? Huh. I, would, I would run that mile about two seconds. I'd be so fast, bro. Really? I'd be also, <laughs> I'm so fast, bro. I'm so fast, bro. My name's good for you. It's not like you have a choice. Oh, oh. oh hey, your shoelace. Oh, Actually, I've got an idea. What are you talking about? Oh, just watch. Oh, yeah. uh, oh. That's you, that's you slipping, bro. Wow, except for he's doing it like fake. Like he's like, oh, my ankle, but he's not actually hurt. Bro, he's gonna fake an ankle injury to get out of running a mile? Yeah. Oh, my ankle. Mikey. Mikey, are you okay? My ankle, I think I twisted it. Shoelace is untied. It's probably how you fell. Can you put any pressure on it? I don't know, let me try. Ugh. Barely. You think you can make it to the nurse's office? I don't know, but you guys go on without me. Uh, are you sure? I can call for help. Actually, isn't your mom a nurse? What's her number? I'll try calling her right now. Uh, no, don't do that. Um, I mean, I can't run, but I'll make it to the nurse's office. Hey, this kid, he, he do be slick, though. He's finessing his way out he, of this he mile. Do be, he be slick, pretending to be sick. <laughs> and this is a stick. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hey, Sticky. Is, ah, I twisted my ankle. Uh, your branch. Ah, <laughs> don't laugh at Sticky. Case, don't laugh. <laughs> Doing the best he can. <laughs> True. Okay, great. 
<laughs> Make sure to tie your shoelace, all right? Hope you feel better, Mikey. All right, guys, keep running, come on. Hey, yo, look at this smile, though. Hey, yo. Wow. Hey, yo, he's hip. Hey, he got hey. away with it. Yo, hey, guys, but this is the problem with the lies, bro. They always catch up to you, and the only person the lies hurt is yourself. Because now, he didn't mm. learn in school. He didn't learn about angles. And he didn't learn about ankles. You know what I mean? Wow. He, he's not getting exercise, and he's not learning, bro. It's not good. Oh, I heard you've been showing Darman videos in class. My son really loves those. Yeah, yeah. The kids seem to learn a lot from him. No, oh. most do at least. That one, he's a constant troublemaker. Mikey? He twisted his ankle on our run today. Poor fella. <coughs> Looks like he's feeling better though. Mm-hmm. Hey. He told me he had a stomach ache this morning, so he couldn't take the pop quiz. Oh, the teachers are catching on, bro. Wow. Hey. It's catching up to him, guys. Real talk, though, guys. If you ever wonder what Adam and I look like at school, it was D2 right there, bro. We, we be just dancing in the hallways, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Hold on, yeah, like that. That's us, bro. I just kind of watch it. <laughs> and this is why we don't have friends. Default dance, what? <laughs> yeah, we do. Look at all these friends we got. Yeah, but these are plushies. What? I'm talking like human friends. What do you mean, bro? Sticky says, I'm not just a plushy stick. I'm a stick guy. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? They're real. Oh. They're real. You wouldn't understand. Wow. Okay. So I couldn't take the pop quiz. Hmm. Wait. Did he happen to twist his ankle at the beginning of the run or at the end? At the beginning. Why? Oh, are you saying he... Nah. They're realizing he's faking it. Nah, I, I don't know for sure, but for someone with a stomach ache and a twisted ankle, he seems to be doing... <laughs> that do be us! Was he moonwalking? That do be us, bro! Rocky says I can move and rock. <laughs> <laughs> says, the moon is a rock. Oh, and so is your dad. What? Is your dad a meteor? Yeah, the moon. He's literally not, a moon rock. Not, the moon's not a meteor, Adam. <laughs> no, no, I didn't say he was. I've told you so many times. <laughs> My dad's a meteor and you weren't listening. No, I'm saying your dad's a meteor, so he's literally a moon rock. <laughs> you know what I mean, bro? Just fine now. Wow. I'm gonna have a little talk with them. And oh, oh, oh. I got a better idea. What, what? The teacher's gonna pull a prank on the student? You can't do that either. We'll see. Bro. Hey, Jaden. Do me a favor. I'm not gonna let you call me my answers again. I know that, genius. You think I don't have a better plan? Let me see that bar. Why? Because I'm hungry. Hey, okay, okay, okay. He wants the granola bar. Bro. I, I think that granola bar was a peanut bar. So maybe he's gonna eat it and pretend that he's allergic to peanuts. He's allergic to the peanuts. Yeah. Like Aiden. I actually am not allergic to peanuts. What? That's why you're banned from eating goober all those times, remember? <laughs> you know what I mean, Aiden? So let, let's see what this boy does. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like. You know, you keep playing, people stop believing after a while. Hey everybody, sorry I'm late. I just printed off your exams. Booyah! <coughs> Mikey? Is everything alright? <coughs> hey yo! Hey yo! What is happening? It's like Adam during the leggy box fight, bro. He be choking on the peanut. <laughs> Butters, yeah. Wow, wait, he's a really good actor. That's believable. Yeah. Man. Hey yo. <laughs> That's an emergency, bro. Somebody call somebody. Hey, are you okay? No, oh, feels like I can't breathe. <gasps> Did you eat this bar? Well, this has peanuts in it. No wonder I'm having an allergic reaction. Shoot, 
We, we better get you to the nurse right away. Nah, guys. Hey, it's one thing to say you got a little tummy ache. This is life or death, bro. Like, right. hey, if you're allergic enough to certain foods and you eat them, you, you might not be able to breathe. It's not a funny, funny. Don't try this ever, bro. Are you yeah. serious? Are you serious? And don't pretend to have that if you don't. I think this guy's faking it. You think you think he does he's not even allergic? I think so. I think he's gonna go to the nurse's office and the second that door's closed and he's alone, he's gonna go back to just dancing. Uh, hey, that's <laughs> a, hey, 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 yo, what if he goes to the nurse's office and it's his mom? Because his mom's a nurse. Oh but I can't afford to miss your quiz. It's alright. Health always comes first. Come on, I'll take you. Uh no, I'm fine. I'll go by myself. Don't worry about me. No, I insist. Jaden, would you mind handing this out to everyone? No problem. Thanks. Come on, let's go. Hang in there, buddy. Honestly, I'm feeling a little better. <laughs> you can go, Mr. Matthews. <clears throat> Mikey, back again, I see. He's having trouble breathing. Huh. It might be an allergic reaction. Well, it looks like we're going to have to call your mother. My mom? Oh, yes. No, please don't call her. Well, you are having trouble breathing, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, then that settles it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, guys, hey, that's not a joke. If you have trouble breathing, they gotta call in the authorities, bro. That's serious. That's a big issue, yeah. Hello? Yes, Mrs. Miller. I, I have your son Mikey in my office. It seems he's having trouble breathing. What? Is he okay? Oh, uh, well, he seems to be stable for now. And since you work at the hospital, I thought I'd give you a call first. Thank you. Well, if he can't breathe, I don't want to waste any time. Call an ambulance right away. They're going to call an ambulance. Guy, this is serious. Because all of this just came from him trying to get out of a silly test. Bro, he should have just taken the test, bro. Are you serious? You're about to go to the hospital. Yeah. Oh, man. Now he learned his lesson, bro. This is not good. Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah. Uh, an ambulance? <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, Mom, it's me. Um, I'll be fine, I promise. We can't take any chances, Mikey. But I don't want to go in an ambulance. Because I'm, uh, because uh, I'm scared of him. Huh? Hey, he getting caught in the line. Look, the teacher already knows, bro. Wow, are you scared of ambulances? <laughs> are you scared of an I'm ambulance? I'm scared of the siren on him. Woo! Woo! You know what I mean? It reminds me of Siren Head. Oh. But no, ambulances are here to help everybody. You should not be scared of him, bro. I'm not scared, bro. Hey, it's Mr. Matthews. You know what? I'll just bring him. Are you sure? See you soon. Come on, Mikey. We gotta go right away. Okay. <laughs> Is the teacher just gonna leave his class unattended? They had the other guy passing out the test. Yeah, but he's a student. What? This so, guy? Yeah, the, the teacher. That's not a teacher? No, 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 no. He's a student. What? So that whole class is just gonna be left alone while the teacher and Mikey drive to the hospital. I thought this was a teacher. No. <laughs> I have misunderstood the whole video. <laughs> Wait a minute, dude. They went all the way to the hospital. Hey, that's why you can't you can't lie about stuff like this, bro. You can't lie about anything, but stuff like this, hey, you going to the hospital, bro. <sighs> so good we were able to get you a room so quickly. <sighs> the doctor should be here any second. Mom! I don't need a doctor, really. I'm gonna be fine. Can we please just go home? Wait, so does he have a peanut allergy? I'm so confused, because wouldn't they just know, hey, you're not actually allergic? This is a lie. I think he's lying about the whole thing. Really? Yeah. You think he's allergic or not? I do not think he is allergic, no. Okay. I think he's faking Sweetheart, it. Sweetheart, this is nothing to take lightly. Is he doing okay? No, he's having trouble breathing. He ate some peanuts and he's allergic to them. Oh, no. We should get ready to operate right away, then. Operate? No. There's no need for any of that. He may be in anaphylactic shock. It what? Is the anaphylactic shock? They're going to give him surgery to, like, take he, the what? peanut bar out of his stomach or something. He in a banana lactic <laughs> shock, bro? What's going on? What's so funny? So yes, funny. he is in banana shock. That's what he said. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. 
Oh yes, I am actually. <laughs> I'm a licensed doctor. I know about yeah anaphylactic shots. Yeah, Justin went to school by drinking Dr. Pepper. Yeah, and now he says he's a doctor. I'm a doctor. <laughs> hang in there, Mikey. You gotta hang on. I'm calling the code red. He going into code red. <laughs> That's so funny. Is this funny to you? No, the way you said that was He's going funny. into code red. I mean the code bread. <laughs> red alert. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whoa, this is getting this is like an action hey, movie. Hey, yo, that's what I'm saying. Dark Man video's getting lit, bro. Turn that off, please. What's going on, Doc? We've got level five anaphylactic shock. That's not good. I make a call. Cut the operation. Mikey, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Please, I just want to go home. Nurse, sedative. Now. It's gonna be okay. Wait, what is it? It's gonna be okay. Mikey. Okay, Mikey, I'm gonna give you a heavy dose in three. Stop! I made it all up, okay? Oh! <gasps> It took all of that for him to admit it was a lie? Do all the nurses and all the doctors were just in on it? Oh, you think they were in on it? Yeah. Nah, they're doing their job. What do you mean? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe they're in on it. Maybe they're not. But what do you think, Sticky? You trust them? Do you like eating peanut butter? Peanut butter? Yeah. Kind of looks like you. Because it's real sticky. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, true. You only eat sticky foods. Yeah. You like, you like eating honey. Yeah. Yeah. You like uh, eating jelly. Huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so funny, bro. Like, stop laughing. So funny. We're so funny, eh? <laughs> That was what Yoki ate. <laughs> it's because Sticky is a stick and he only eats sticky food. Well, what I want, ain't him? Yeah. Sticky food. <laughs> Bro, are you serious? They're all in on it? What are you talking about? I faked having an allergic reaction, so I didn't have to do our test. I didn't mean for it to go this far. Mikey, are you saying that you lied? I lied, okay? I'm sorry. <sighs> well. It's too late. What are you doing? We still have to give you a shot. No, no, hey. no, 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 no! Hey, yo, oh, hey, yo, hey, yo, <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, what's going on? Hey, yo, hey, yo, why? What's going on? Oh. Fake. <laughs> Retractable syringe. <laughs> hey, we're all in on it. Yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. Hey, yo. Don't I don't the think, doctors have. I, actual yeah, things I don't to think. Do? I don't think. I don't think this happens, guys. I'm pretty sure doctors are very busy, you know, saving lives and stuff, bro. I don't think that happens, bro. Yeah. Hey, yo, the doctor said. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't no banana shot. <laughs> Are you serious, bro? So all the nurses, everyone was in on it? <laughs> what the heck? There's no way, bro. There's no way. <laughs> hey, yo. It's not real. None of it is. Not even the siren. That's not even hooked up to anything. We knew you were faking it all along. You did? I'll see you later, Kathy. Bye. Bye. Thanks for all your help. Hey, yo. But how, how did you know that I was lying? Well, when you keep lying, people will stop believing you after a while. And you don't have a very good track record, do you? I guess I don't. What is he talking about? You have a good track record? He's making fun of the fact he fell down? Didn't do good at track? <laughs> no, it means like he doesn't have a good... I don't really know either. I'm not that smart, guys. But I'm still just thinking back. The teacher's still just hanging out here. Doesn't he have a class to, like, manage? All the kids are just sitting there in the classroom by themselves. They're probably having a dance party. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. Well, don't think you're getting out of it that easy. You are in big trouble. We'll deal with that when you get home. Right now, you have an exam to take. Come on, Mikey. Let's go to school. <gasps> oh, oh, is he dancing too? <laughs> That's how I dance. <laughs> this is what happens every time we get the double stuff Oreo. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> when Adam's mom comes home with the hot pockets. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so funny. 
That's so funny. He does do that though, yeah. guys. Yeah, that's real life, guys. That's real life, right there. Hey, Mikey. How's that ankle feeling? To tell you the truth, my ankle never even really hurt. I just didn't want to run. I must say, I respect your honesty. Well, since your ankle doesn't hurt, while everyone else plays basketball, you can run. No! I don't want to run a mile. Who said anything about a mile? We'll go for two. See you in class. Oh, and good luck on Mr. Matthews' exam. Hey. Wow. Oh. So even after all that, he still has to do exactly what all the other kids had to do. Today we're watching an insane story about a mom who gets her PS5 stolen. Yes, 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 they have it in stock. Please, mom, 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 mom can you please get this for me? Don't you already have an Xbox? Yo, they got a PS5. PS5s are super hard to get right now, guys. They're super rare. They got an Xbox, and they're gonna get a PS5. Wow, guys, this story's gonna be crazy. No, 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 this is a PlayStation. It's completely different. I mean, come on, please. I, this will be my Christmas present. Mm. Let's see. $500? No way, Troy, that's too expensive. That makes sense. PS5 is $500. Wow. Just like how the Xbox is X dollars. <laughs> Bro. You know, I don't have a job right now. Come on. Dad would get this for me in a heartbeat. You know what? Just, just forget it. I'll, I'll just ask Dad to get for me. Don't be that way, Troy. How about Soculus? Didn't you say you wanted one? Yo, nah, nah, don't buy him that, don't. No. Wow, so don't. she says no, no, no on the PS5, but how about the Metaverse? No. Yeah. I'm in the Foxyverse, bro. Wow, the Foxy don't, VR. Don't buy him the Oculus, he'll go in the Facebook. Right. Don't, bro. Dude, this is a real deep message. Earlier, she said she didn't have a job. Okay, he wants a PS5, 500 bucks. She can't get it for him, okay? And he's like, I'll just ask Dad. Bro, that's not, that's, that's, that's being spoiled, bro. Yeah, not cool. Spoiled like some, <laughs> <laughs> How about Soculus? Didn't you say you wanted one? You did, right? Not as much as a PS5. I know, but it's $200 cheaper, and this is still a really nice Christmas gift. Huh? Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Look, I'll be waiting outside. What? He said, yeah, whatever. He gonna get an Oculus? I want an Oculus. Guys, that's a really good gift. Look at the way he's walking out of the store. He said, oh, I have to get an Oculus. Are you serious? We'd be freaking out if we had one of those. Man. Try not to get too excited. Oh, happy holidays. Happy. If that's what you want to call it, sure. By chance, are you guys hiring? No, sorry. Yeah. That'll be $322.92. Okay. There aren't any coupons or anything, are there? Unfortunately not. All right, here you go. The credit card got declined. Mm. Now guys, this video is blowing up right now because apparently it's really heartbreaking. Now- My heart already feels broken, bro. Apparently later in the video, something real bad's gonna happen to this mom. Nah, I don't want it. I don't want bad things to happen to her, man. She's trying her best, man. She's trying to buy her son an Oculus. Right. And she can't afford it and it's, it's breaking my heart, man. And worst of all, if he was super excited about the Oculus, then it would be like, you know, this costs a lot of money. It's gonna be a, a big sacrifice, but at least my son's gonna like it. But her son's being a spoiled guy. Dude, I don't, I feel bad, man. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, it says insufficient funds. Do you have another card you can try or cash? Uh, let me see. Um. You could apply for a store credit card. No, that's all right. Um, I don't want to dig deeper in debt, you know. 
Uh, would it be okay if I use cash and then put the rest on my card? Sure. Um, how much would you like me to put on the card? Let me see. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna put 265 on the card okay. and 24660 in cash. Okay, there's a lot of numbers, <laughs> a lot of math going on. I'm having a hard time following. I could break it but down. Let me finish. Okay. But what I, what I learned is that she's about to empty her bank to pay for this Oculus. She's gonna go broke? She, I mean, she said she had $260 in the, see, you don't even understand. <laughs> you said you're gonna break it down. Her phone said $260 some dollars. She's gonna use all of that on the Oculus, bro. She's gonna empty her bank to try and make her son happy. That's, that's beautiful, man. Wow. Shout out to all the parents out there trying their best, you know what I mean? This kid needs to be appreciative. She's buying everything for him. Yeah. She gonna empty her bank account to get him an Oculus, bro. Whoa! I got Oculus. Yeah, guys, this is a homemade Oculus. I'm in the metaverse it. right now. Really? Yeah. Well, you look really cool. I'm going into dark metaverse. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. It went through. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's your change. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Would you like a bag? Sure. It's 25 cents. Uh, oh. that's all right. Don't worry about it. Thank you. You know what? I'll take care of it. Happy holidays. Are you excited about your gang system? Yes. Shoot. Nah, we gotta go back. For what? It says it doesn't include a carrying case. Can you believe it? What do you need a carrying case for? You could just use the box. What? No, no, I can't bring this to my friend's house in the box. It looks so cheap. What? That does not make any sense. What are you talking about? We carry boxy in a box. Yeah. He says, I don't look cheap, do I? <laughs> <laughs> what is he talking about, bro? Listen, your mother just emptied her bank account to get this for you. He didn't even seem excited. And he was a carrying case. Yeah, and what's worst of all, this Dark Man video talks about something real bad happening to the mom. Maybe involves getting stolen. No, don't even say it, bro. What's gonna happen? Come on, Troy. Now, I just spent a lot of money. Forget it. I'll just ask Dad. Your favorite line. All right, how much is the case? I don't know, like 20 bucks? All right, let's go. Wait, I don't want to carry this around. Let me put this in the car. No, you can't leave stuff like that, guys. Don't leave valuable stuff like that in the car. It could get stolen. This is where the Darman video turns dark. I can already see this is gonna turn into a dark video, bro. Let's see what happens. Next. You happy now? <laughs> hey, where's my car? This, this is where I parked. The whole car got stolen. <laughs> so funny, that's funny. I think it might've gotten towed. What? I don't know because it showed the parking meter that it didn't have money in it. So either it got towed by a company or it got stolen. What are you talking about towed? That's why I play in Mario Kart. No, like tow truck. You think towed came and towed, towed got in the car? <laughs> Maybe what? towed wants to play the Oculus. That's what I'm saying. Wait, oh, you're saying the car got Towed. Yeah, by like a tow truck. Oh. Yeah, like tow mater. Oh. Oh. Why'd you just say that? <laughs> that makes sense. 
<laughs> right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Isn't that our car? Oh my gosh. <sighs> my Oculus is in there. Hey! That's my car! Stop! Hey! Stop! Why? Hey, yo! Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> that doesn't happen. That was mean. He just laughed at her. Why did he look so happy? Why is everyone so mean in this video, bro? I feel so bad for the mom, dude. If you play that guy smiling again, that's literally how Justin looks after we go through a drive-thru yeah, and he gets the Happy yeah, Meal. Yeah. He's so happy. That's me at the drive-thru. Yeah, but that makes sense. Yeah. He's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I do that too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> when I get the extra meal. <laughs> when I get the extra happy meal. <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah. Stop! Stop! Please! Hey. Hi. Hi. Um, do you work here? Yes, ma'am. Um, did you call the tow truck? No, ma'am. That's parking enforcement. I'm just a security guard. Why did they tow my car and instead of just giving me a ticket? I'm not sure, but usually when that happens, it's because you have unpaid registration. You didn't pay your registration? Seriously? Why? Things have been complicated. Complicated? Okay, so what are we gonna do now? I don't know, okay? Just give me a second. Do you know where they are taking my car? Yeah, it's 1020 High Street. It's about four miles up the road. Four miles? Do you um, think you could give us a ride? I'm sorry, I can't. I could, I could lose my job. Good luck. They're gonna have to walk four miles to get back to the car. And worst of all, if they were going through this struggle together, it would even be a little bit better. But the fact that boy is being so mean to his mom, even after she did all this, yeah, it just really cuts deep in the heart. <laughs> Don't ever <laughs> be like this to your parents or your friends. <laughs> I just put my heart in the VR. <laughs> I got a V heart. <laughs> Dude, be nice to your parents, man. She's trying her best, man. Okay, look, how about I just call No, him? no, do not call him. I just call grandma. Okay, now this is a question I've been pondering mm -hmm. for a while. Can you explain to me why he keeps saying, I'm gonna just call Dave? Like, why he's saying that? I don't Why really know. Why does she know. not want him to call Dade? Maybe the mom and the dad like hate each other. So the mom doesn't want to have to ask the dad for help or something like that. I think that's I what think it that's, is. Yeah. Which is really sad. Man. Probably because the mom didn't get the dad an Oculus. <laughs> that's probably why he's so mad. <laughs> that's why you're mad, huh? Yeah, he so never lets me play with it. Your mom got me this. <laughs> so, uh, it's cool Oculus. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Stop it! Just give me a minute. Hey, sweetheart. I'm at work. Are you okay? Yeah, um... I'm here with Troy at the plaza, and my car got towed. <laughs> you think you could pick us up? No, she got no. I'm in a meeting with my boss. We're going over a real estate deal. We're about to close. Can you call an Uber? Um, I don't have any money. And honestly, I won't be able to get my car back. I'm just trying to get Troy his Christmas present that was in there. Okay, I'll call you an Uber. Uh, you're in the plaza parking lot? No, no, you don't have to do that. 
You've already done so much for us lately, so we can just walk. And um, it's not that far, so. Okay, good luck. Thanks, Ma. I'll see you at home. I love you. Man, she doesn't want to take help from anyone because she wants to prove to herself, the mom, that she can do it. I believe in her. I believe in her, man. Things are gonna turn around. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Sorry about that. It's all right. Is everything okay? My daughter's just going through some hard times. So it'll be okay. Oh no. Well, if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Thank you. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what were you doing? Look, I called Dad to pick us up. He's already on the way. Why would you do that? Hmm? I told you not to call him. Look, I don't see what the big deal is. Plus, I mean, what else are we going to do? We're going to walk. That's what we're going to do. Now text him and tell him not to come. No, 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 no way. No, I'm not walking that far. Hey, I'm being serious. <sighs> why is it so far and why do we have to walk? You want your Oculus back again, right? We don't have any other choice, okay? I still don't get why you won't just let Dad help us. Please, stop asking me that. No. Up until a month ago, everything was fine. And then all of a sudden, we moved in with Grandma, and you and Dad stopped talking, and, and you guys stopped working together. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Troy, please. It's better for you if you don't know. Okay, so she's not explaining to him what happened. It sounds like <laughs> Detective Justy <laughs> sound like she worked with his dad and then she moved out and quit. So that's why she doesn't have a job either. Oh. So everything was tied together. And so I think you're right. I think the mom and the dad are fighting right now. So she doesn't want his help. Yeah. And they're not mm. telling the boy what's going on. But they probably should tell him. Yeah, I think so. I don't know, dude. Because otherwise, he's going to keep asking, why I got to walk? You know what I mean? She yeah. got to explain. This Look, is getting real intense. Man, this is getting serious. Okay. Now we're not far from this. Here's Dad. I told you to text him not to come. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, Tiffany. I thought my dad was picking me up. Yeah, he got tied up in a meeting, so I offered to come. Ah, uh, thanks. Uh, would you mind taking my mom and I to the tow lot? Yeah, that's fine. Hop in. <sighs> okay, one sec. Okay, so the dad sounds like a busy businessman. He he on a call. He wow. Sent, he sent Tiffany. I don't know who this is to go pick him up. Wow. In the Rari. So that would be like you sending like Foxy to go to the McDonald's to pick up your drive through. I sent I sent Foxy Boxy to pick you up when you go to the playground and stuff. That's true. And you get stuck there waiting for hours. Yeah, and Foxy pulls up in the Rari. Yeah. I sit in the back and yeah. she peels out. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> True! Hey, Mom. It's not Dad. It's just his secretary, so it's fine. Come on, let's go. I am not getting in that car. Come on, I don't see what the big deal is, okay? It's just... No! I am not getting in that car! Guys, now this is a difficult video to react to because on one hand, I feel very, very bad for the mom. She's trying her best. She emptied her bank account to buy him an Oculus. He wasn't even happy. But on the other hand, she doesn't want help from anybody. Not the dad, not the Tiffany lady, and not her own mother. Right. She doesn't want help. Yeah. But she needs somebody to help, bro. Yeah. I think the person that needs to help her is her own son. What? Yeah. So you're saying he should buy a car and pick her up? 
Maybe they could get like a scooter or something and then they could scooter their way to the tow lot. You just want to ride this scooter! Yeah, this is Justin's scooter that he never mm. lets me drive. Do that cool trick you were showing but me earlier. But it's too fast. It's not safe for you. Justin could do a triple backflip on his scooter. Watch you this. Ready? Yeah. ready? Okay, everybody, you ready? Yeah, it's so cool looking. <laughs> okay, it, it worked better when I was at the playground. It's because I didn't have my Spider-Man helmet on, so. Oh. Not bad. <laughs> it's not funny. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm not walking. So if you don't want to go, then I'll just go to Dad's office and have him drop me off at Grandma's later. You coming? Fine. See you later. Hello? Well, if you didn't want to pay $300, then maybe you shouldn't have parked in the rent. I can't believe these people. Mm-hmm. Can I help you? Uh, hi. Um, my car got towed earlier. It's a gray Nissan Sentra. Oh, yeah, yeah. You called earlier, right? Okay, so she's at the tow office. I get it. I didn't understand where she was for a second. Oh, uh, I wonder if when these people uh, say, like, they want to say yes, like, hey, can I come pick up my car? I wonder if they're like, yeah, totally. Because <laughs> it's like a pun. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> she probably says, hey, don't break anything. Because, <laughs> you know, the brakes on the car. Oh, I got it. <laughs> yeah, cool. No. Um, listen, I'm not actually here to even get my car. I want to know, would it be all right if I could leave it here just for a while, you know, until I can get together the $300 to pay for the tow? That's just the minimum. It's $50 a day after that. What? Seriously? Yeah, you can't just park here for free. <laughs> I never wanted to park here. I didn't want to come to work today, but yet here we are. Um, how do I get to my car? I it's $300 and then $50 after that. So if you park there for like a week, it's like $1,000. Wow. That's the same. That's way more than the PS5 would have been and the Oculus put together. That's so she's crazy. In, she's in a sticky situation. Yeah. Um, how do I get to my car? I, I need to get something out of it. You can't access your vehicle until you pay. What? Oh, come on, come on, my son's Christmas present is in there, please. Look, it's company policy, there's nothing I can do. But if you didn't want your car towed, you shouldn't have left it in the red. Oh, she didn't park in the red. An expired meter. Oh, then why'd you tow her? Unpaid registration. Ah. Are you the one who towed my car? Yep. If you saw me, then why didn't you stop? You know, I try to avoid altercations with customers. They tend to get a little hysterical. This is your car? You did call her. No, it wasn't me. Well, somebody did. Whatever. Anyway, your fee's already been paid in full over the phone. Oh my gosh. Really? Wait, so somebody paid the fee already? I think it's the real estate lady that the grandma was hanging out with. What? I was gonna say it's probably the dad. Yeah, okay, guys, make your predictions. Or maybe it was, um, Santa Claus. Maybe, I don't know. Ronald McDonald? No! Why'd you say that? 
He's cool. Sarah was a serious guest because at Christmas time she bought an Oculus. Oh. You had to go make it ridiculous. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe it was Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you have a garden angel. <laughs> Will you take it to her car? Uh, follow me. There's your car. Have a nice day. Thanks. Hey, wait! Someone broke into my car! Nah, this video is messed up. She just can't catch a break, man. What if the tow truck driver stole the Oculus? You think he stole? Because he has glasses on. He's in the metaverse right now. Exactly. Get out of Facebook right now. That's probably why he was like laughing like that was he's like, I'm gonna get myself a new Oculus. He was probably already in the Oculus by then. Right. Because he, <laughs> he was somewhere else. Right. Let's see what happens. Dude. They stole my son's Christmas gift. Yeah. Whew. Oh, you know, this isn't the safest place for parking. I never parked here. You took it here. Well, you should have paid your parking meter. There's nothing I could do. We're not responsible. Company policy. Company. Wait, you guys' company policy sucks! Yeah, I know. No, no. I can't believe all this is happening to me. Dad, well, she got another parking ticket? How? I don't know. Either she had the ticket from the earlier place or she got one here somehow. Dude, she really just can't catch a break. Well, actually she did because someone paid for the car. So at least she got that. But everything's going wrong. I feel awful. We still don't know who paid for the car or where the Oculus went. So you think the dad paid for the car and then stole the Oculus? I mean, yeah, maybe because the, the fee was $300. The Oculus was $350. So it's like cheaper <laughs> to just steal it and then pay the 300. He probably stole the Oculus, returned it, got $300, then paid for the car. Yeah, and kept $50. That's how we can afford to pay the woman driving him all day. No way! Hey, baby. You didn't have to pay for me, you know. I would have figured something out. I know, but you're already going through so much. And I just wanted to help. Okay, so the grandma paid. Wow. But. Wow. The grandma. She stole the Oculus. She also has class. She's wearing the Oculus. <laughs> probably not, guys. The grandma's probably good. I got candy and I got baby candy. Whoa! I'm in the candy VR, bro. Wow, does it look like soup? Yup! <laughs> I'm in a giant tomato simulator soup game right now. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> Whoa, it was so real, it was like a tomato hit me in my face. Yeah! Wow! Well, thanks. And I appreciate it. And I promise 
that as soon as I get a job, I'm gonna pay you back all the money you spent on us, okay? Sweetheart, that should be the last of your worries. Where's Troy? I just got home, I haven't seen him yet. Okay. Let me just have some tea. Oh, what are you doing with that? I am going to buy Troy another Christmas present. Uh, wait, no, no, no. That's your savings so you can get your real estate license. I know, I know, that was the plan, but now I need to buy no, Troy no, no, no. a Christmas no, present. No, do not break into that. How much do you need? No, Mom, absolutely no. not. I am not letting you spend any more money on us. No, it's not that big. Why did you break into that? That was all the savings you had. If you were in my situation, would you not do the same thing for me? I don't know. Probably not, bro. You can't use the last of your money. Well, she already did with her bank just to buy another Oculus. Yeah, especially an Oculus that he doesn't even really care about. That's what I'm saying. She needs to use the money to fix her car, maybe get her, it sounds like she's gonna get a real estate license. Something to do with houses. Something to do with that, her job. Yeah. And she can make more money, she can buy him a present later. He doesn't even care about the Oculus, man. Right. Man. <sighs> yes. Now, if you wanna help me, you can help me count this money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come here. Come here. Okay. All oh, this messy money. <laughs> it's a lot of it, though. <laughs> she bought him a new Oculus. No way. Bro, I just realized he already got the PS5. His grandma or his dad probably his got dad, him that. His dad. His dad. And that's the gift he actually wanted. He cared way more about the PS5. Dude, I can't watch this, bro. My heart hurts, bro. She just broke into her piggy bank, dumped out all the money, Spend it on this Oculus and he's probably gonna diss her. Like, Dade already got me the PS5. I don't want that. Let's see what I happens. Can't, I can't watch this, bro. <laughs> Is that a PS5? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the world. Dad took me to get it before he dropped me off. Look, I told you you'd buy it for me. And what about your Oculus? Oh. Look, I don't care about that. You can just... What? <laughs> I can't keep watching this, bro. This is too crazy, bro. He doesn't care about he it? He doesn't care, bro. <laughs> he better not catch me in the metaverse. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Can you even see out those? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Something's hitting me in the metaverse. No, that was me. Is it Facebook? Ah! Stop! Stop! Those are just some plastic <laughs> headphones. Hey, take those off. Got a little bit too real. <laughs> Dude! This kid needs to be appreciated. This is messed up. And what about your Oculus? Oh. Look, I don't care about that. You can just, I don't know, be on the floor. What are you crying about now? Mom. Do you have any idea what I went through to get you a present? I pretty much spent my last dollar. Okay. Well, I told you what I really liked from the beginning. 
Will he ever be nice to his mom? What is he doing? Can you imagine talking to your mom like that when she's crying? Are you? Have you lost your mind? I think he's already in the metaverse because this can't be real life. Yeah. Imagine if you talk to your mother that way. It's the other way around. She goes, what you cry about now, Adam? Yeah. Imagine you said that to her. Be nice to everyone, guys. This is not cool. This is not cool at all, guys. Be nice to your parents. That's crazy. Well, I told you what I really liked from the beginning. So it's not my fault that you couldn't afford to give me what I really wanted for Christmas. You know, Dad told me why you guys split up. Oh yeah. And what did he say? Basically, that it was all your fault. That you broke up this family. That true? If that's what you want to believe, Troy, then that's fine. I want to go live with Dad. I don't want to be here anymore. You can make your own decisions, Troy. I'm not gonna stop you. I can't watch this, bro. What is going on? When we first clicked on this video, we thought it was gonna be a little bit sad story about I thought a PS5. It just, yeah, just the PS5. You this know. is not about PS5. This is about family, bro. This well, is about a heart breaking. This, this is messed up, man. He really said, you can't buy me a PS5, so I don't I don't care about you anymore. Dude, this is nuts. Yeah. Bro. How is this story gonna end? I have no idea. We gotta find out. <laughs> he just goes back <laughs> to the PS5. <laughs> he just made his own mother cry. And then he just go back to playing the PS5. Wow. Have you lost your mind? You know, you can't always believe everything your dad says. What am I supposed to do? My mom won't tell me anything. That's because she cares more about your feelings than her own. What, what are you talking about? The reason she isn't saying anything it's because she doesn't want you to think any less of your father. You see, your mom has always done her best to take care of everyone around her. On top of trying to be the best mother and the best wife, she also sacrificed her own career to help build your dad's business. Even though it's because of her, the whole office ran. He never really appreciated your mom and would keep everything to himself. She was just too nice to complain. Then a few weeks ago, on your dad's birthday, he didn't come home because he was working late at the office. So she decided to surprise him. Little did she know that she would be getting the surprise. When she walked into your dad's office, there he was. No! This is the most insane darn man video I have ever seen in my entire life. Bro. Bro. 
The dad fell out of love with the mom. The dad just got exposed by the granny. Wow. Are you serious, bro? This is messed up. And after all this, the mom tried to protect the son from the truth. Wow. Guys, I don't even know what to say at a time like this. I can't handle this story. It's too heavy. I'm going back in the metaverse where people are nicey to each other and they don't do this. Yeah, definitely. Ah! <laughs> what keeps hitting me in the metaverse? Am I in Roblox? <laughs> Dude! Dude! Cheating on her with the secretary. She couldn't believe it. And to make things even worse, your dad didn't even feel bad at all. He told her if she left, he would take away her car, cut off all her spending, and that she would be left with nothing. As hard as it was, your mom stood her round and decided to walk away anyway. So you see, that's the real reason why your parents separated. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I mean, I, I can't believe he did that to her. Why wouldn't she just tell me? Because as badly as he hurt her, she didn't want you to hate your dad. Wow. That's how big her heart is. This whole time, I thought it was all her fault. Gosh, I can't believe I got in the car with Tiffany. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't blame yourself. You didn't know. So that now, yo, Darman with the craziest twists. Cause that's why the whole time I was wondering why didn't she just get in the car, why she wanna walk. Now we understand. She can't get in the car with Tiffany. Not only was that the, the woman that stole her guy, but <laughs> that was probably her old car that the dad stole from her. She stole her man and her car. Yeah. <laughs> Stole the car and the man. <laughs> car man. <laughs> car man. Car man. The symbolism is crazy. These videos are deep, guys. The web of Dar man. I mean lives. web 3.0. Yeah. I mean Dar man's web of lies. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Are you serious, bro? But now that you do, no. Mm -hmm. Grandma told me everything. I'm so sorry about everything. <laughs> I've never gotten in that car. Earlier if I know mom. Oh, I know, baby. I know you would. I know. Ooh, this is the office. I gotta take this. Hey, look. Look, I can return the PS5 and then you can use that money. Hey, no, that no, you don't have to return it. And even if you decide to, all that money is yours. Because I don't want anything to do with your dad's money. Okay, then what are you gonna do? I mean, Grandma, she told me that, that I took, like, everything. I, I, I don't know, <laughs> but I'm going to figure out a way to... Can you repeat what you just said one more time? You're on speakerphone. Your daughter seems like an extremely capable young woman. We'd love to give her the office manager position if she's interested. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. <laughs> It's my boss. They want to offer you a position. You start right away, it pays well. And they're even going to cover the costs of your real estate license. Oh, really? What, how does she 
even know I was looking. My man have been in and out of here telling them how capable you were. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Mom. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate it. <laughs> Let's go. That grandma is a baller. Granny, let's go, dude. Wow, the grandma is so clutch. Wow, this story had a happy ending. She got a job, everything good. Turn around, bro. Yeah. Oh. Well, you gonna take the position? <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's gonna accept the position. <laughs> Yay! I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, so are we. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Happy holidays. Happy, Happy holidays! holidays! <laughs> <laughs> now I want you to know that my first check is going to you to start paying you back for everything. Nonsense. You don't owe me anything. Mama, please. Mmm. Hey, Troy. What? <laughs> Are you making Christmas cookies? <laughs> yeah. What do you guys think? Huh? They look delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Better than the ones I make. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. And I have one more surprise. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> You'll see. Open it. <laughs> All right. I'll get that. Okay. What's in the envelope, bro? Who do you think's at the door? Santa and Claus. Maybe, maybe. Santa Claus. And what's in the envelope? Maybe at the door is the day and the envelope says, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? That's funny to you? What is that funny? <laughs> She hates the dad. Are you insane? Maybe <laughs> apologize. I don't know. Maybe the next time you get mad at me, I'll try that on you. I'll give you an envelope that says I'm sorry. Yeah, what? And then I'll show up at the door and let's hope everything's back to normal. It, it would help. It would sure help. All right, let's it, see it, what it, it actually it sure is. Help. What? I'm a genius. Dad broke? Uh, you laugh at me! Uh -huh. Maybe Dude. maybe the dad needs help! I think his business probably crumbled because uh like the grandma said, the mom really did everything. Yeah! I'm a genius. And he's gonna be like, hey, would you mind coming back to work at my place? And she's like, I don't need you anymore. I got my own thing going on. Bro, I'd be like, I'd be too smart, you know what I mean? Yeah! <laughs> too smart. You're like Rudolph. I'm in the sticky verse, bro. <laughs> I'm in the sticky verse. Let's go, I'm too smart. I'll go get Troy. No, wait. I'm not here to see him. Okay, then why are you here? I'm here to see you. Look, I know things ended really badly between us. But I want to try to make them better. I don't understand. What happened to Tiffany? I caught her charging up the company credit card and even taking money from one of the accounts. It was a big mess. Oh, wow. To be honest, I... Everything kind of went downhill after you left. I guess I didn't realize how much you did for the company. How much you did for me. Until you are gone. So do you think maybe uh, I can try to get you to come back? Wow. <laughs> do you think she's going to choose to go back? I don't think so. I think she got her life together. She got a new job. She said, I don't need you. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe she will. I don't know. What do you think? I think she's going to say no. I think she's going to say, you know, me and grandma and my, and my son are having a great time now. You betrayed me. I don't need that anymore. What do you think, Foxy? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good? Yeah. 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 Hey, I don't know. This is the craziest Dog Man video of all time. Let's go. So that we can all be a family again. You're welcome to see Troy whenever you want. But as far as you and I, 
there's no way that could ever happen again. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, Troy. Um, Want to spend Christmas with your pop? Uh, spend it with mom and grandma. But I want to give you this back. I thought this is what you wanted. He gave back the PS5, man. Wow. Man, this story is so emotional. Cause that's the only thing the dad can do to make the son like him is just buy him gifts. But deep down, he's actually not a very good guy. But the mom was the one who cared about him the real the whole time. Wow, so now the dad's gonna have to spend Christmas alone. Foxy passed out. This story's getting too crazy. It was, but not anymore. Appreciate it, though. All right. Well, I get to see you on New Year's. Uh, maybe. All right, um, you take care, son. Hmm. Did you really just give your PlayStation back? Yeah, I need it. I have an Xbox. No, come on. I want you to open it. All right, all right. What have you got in here? Is this? Yeah, I paid your registration and that ticket you got. Merry Christmas. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but how did you? I returned my Oculus. No, look, Mom, I promise it's fine. I don't need it. I realize it. Christmas isn't all about gifts. Oh, sweetheart. I love you so much. Wow, so he returned the Oculus that he got from his mom. He used that money to pay for the cars, like license plate and stuff like that, that she didn't have. And that's what caused her to get towed. So it's a circle of love. Yeah. And the only loser, the only person that took the biggest L of his life was the dad. <laughs> yeah. Boom. This story was crazy on all sides, man. The actors, everyone in this story blew my mind, bro. I was so invested, bro. This is crazy. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs> wow. Guys, make sure to leave a like and subscribe on this video. Go check out lankyboxshop.com. Go get some Lanky Box plushies. Thank you all for watching that video with us. I feel like I just watched a movie with all the Lanky viewers. How awesome, man. That was emotional. Yeah. That was emotional. Some Dark Man videos, a little ha ha he he. That one was serious and it was crazy. Yeah. It's pretty crazy being here in the real world, huh? How do I know I'm in the real world? I'm not in the Dark Man VR world. Really? You're gonna go back to the metaverse? Well, Adam, <laughs> we came in here, we watched a story about a stolen PS5. <laughs> We're gonna... <laughs>